Right, everyone, Ref Fletcher here. Another live stream. So it's a Saturday live stream today. I'll be on till about 11.30. If you're new to this channel, I'm Weapon Collector. Uh, as you can see, I collect weapons and that, and I do videos on weapons. And um, if you like this live stream, don't forget to like it and um, comment and share and um, subscribe and that and click the bell. If you click the bell, you'll make sure you get... Uh, notifications and uh if you ever wanted to support this channel i've got a patreon account or if you email me i can give you a paypal address and you can do one off donations if you want so I'll, I'll just go on to the comments now i'll let you know when i can uh see them Right, on. So, weapons, as I've said, didn't get a notification today, despite me watching all your vids and clicking the bell. New to check your channel about now, though. Thanks, YouTube. Yeah, typical, isn't it? You know, I don't know why that always does that. In fact, you're about the only person I get regular notifications from. But again, I always know when you're going to upload, which is every single day at least, you know, and um, about five o'clock, in it? Bob Stone, oh, you got a notification, did you? Nice one, mate. Dingshot Warrior, you right, mate? The Fallout player, first time I ever got a notification on time. Oh, nice. You right, Fallout player, Jumble Sail Boo. Long time no see. Yeah, what's it been, about 24 hours? <laughs> X-Ray Zulu, you right, mate? You didn't make the last two streams, did you? What's the um, audio like? It should be normal. Should all be set up. Actually, Zulu, I had to get a new camera, so the lighting and angle is a little bit different now, but it'll do for a stream. You know what I mean? I won't want to do proper videos like this. You know what I mean? But it's perfect for a stream. Melanie Rob, you're right. Weapons, I finally got a chance to test the halberd and film it today. That thing is brutal. The best bit on it is the reverse beak. Great medieval can opener. Ah, nice. Yeah, I bet that was good. UK Survivor, you're right, mate. Yeah, I can imagine the halberd would be good, good fun to mess around with, you know what I mean? Um, test, you know. I like them, they're interesting weapons because of the different, you know, the different parts of them. And, you know, they're almost like a spear, almost like a great big axe, aren't they? You know, they've got a lot of elements to them. Z not Z, you're right, mate. Make sure he said, yeah, lighting. Yeah, it's a funny camera. I had to get, like, the the only camera I could get. If I wore a hat, maybe. I ain't gonna, though. <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's good enough for um live streams, you know what I mean? Weapon and stuff. Pretty exhausting, though. Makes me want a shorter pole axe now as well. Yeah, I can imagine... The long length of it, heavy and, you know, and because it's long, it's going to feel heavier than it is, isn't it? Thing shot or I can't wait to see you make a walking stick in the WP style. Yeah, definitely, mate. It's going to come, it says the 16th, so hopefully it might come earlier. You never know. You know what I mean? You know, these things quite often do, but yeah, should be the 16th. If not before. What's everyone been doing today? I haven't really done a thing today. I've just been um, cleaning up again, basically. That's about it. <laughs> I was going to start one of them computer again. Did the other one today. I'll just read these comments. Got the other way you know straight away. Fortnite player, hey Liam, I saw your last vid and I thought the main reason those sulfur dioxide gases were so dangerous is because they displace oxygen. I thought it was not going to add oxygen in, or am I not understanding it? And weapons I've said, but by being longer, it means you get, oh, yeah, he's on about the thing still. But by being longer, it means you get more force amplification at the end. Uh, amazed how well the armor piercing beak, when swung, would go through metal. Yeah, I can imagine. I bet it is good. Weapons I've said, the filter prevents sulfur from burning the lining off your throat. Yeah, I got um, that's the one I got the other day, and then I got LA Noir today, or the other way around, I can't remember. That was brand new. That one was second hand for two quid. 
which is good. And it's spotless as well when you look at it. Brian, you're right, mate. He said, evening, cold, beer open and relaxing. Now I've got a coffee and some water tonight. Next day, Zulu, been looking at the Condor Mini Dooku. I'll have to look at that quickly. Oh, yeah, that's nice, that. Yeah, quite like them. Well, not glad, but what's going to stop you from suffocating? Things that were a furnace attacks make great club studs. Yeah, definitely. Perfect thing for it, ain't they? Just to see if I can get some of them. UK survivors have been at work most of the day. Pretty shit, really. Yeah, I've done nothing today apart from mess around watching videos on here. Um, did some cleaning up. Was going to play them computer games, and by the time I, so once I start getting into them, I want to do quite a few hours on it. So I thought, you know, this was about six o'clock. I thought I'd have to stop at half eight to do the stream anyway, so I won't bother. Start them tomorrow. But like, yeah, well, you don't sit in a cloud of gas like an idiot, but wearing a gas mask gives you much better chance while evacuating. Then you know, are you going to do any outdoor swivers? Yeah, I'm. I'm just getting around to it. I just ain't got around to it yet, but I'm definitely going to. I got my new boots for it. I just ain't got out yet, but I think when I get this walking stick, I don't need a walking stick, but it'd be just good to take with me. Um, when I make my walking stick, that'll give me more of a, you know, that's like the final excuse to get out then. <laughs> but I'm getting ready. I've got a bag ready there to take out with me with the stuff already in it. So yeah, definitely gonna happen. Bob Stone, all I did today was go to the pub, then I went home and then I fell asleep. It's a good day, really. Yeah, it sounds it. I always used to, if I drunk in the day, we'd end up falling asleep. Number so boo, that double barrel over and under mini bolt air pistol on the Slingshot channel looks wicked, mate. Do you know what? I've not seen it. I'll have to have a look at that. I'll check that out soon. Actually, the mini do could be expensive, but get the wife to tip in for birthday. Yeah, good idea, mate. I might play. It's freezing here today in the upper Midwest. I had sleep last night. Yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, it's quite warm here at the minute. Toby Hammer, you're right, mate. He said, "Do you have a bug out bag?" Yeah, I've got a. I've got like a traditional bug out bag. I've got a grey man bug out bag that looks more like an everyday bag, you know, so it doesn't look like a bug out bag. And then I've got a backup bug out bag for other people. So yeah, I've got a bug out bag, mate. He's all right. If you want a good slingshot, I'd get one from Gamekeeper John. I would just make one, mate. I would make a slingshot if I want one. You know, like you, you can make one. But I do know Gamekeeper John because I used to talk to his dad a lot on here. He stopped. He stopped in the end. Yeah. I, I never really spoke to game people, John, but he used to talk to his dad. Having the stuff. With pretty much any mask, if enough builds up, regardless of the gas effect, you will still suffocate. The mask prevents poisoning from the gas itself. Masks should always be used for evacuation, in my opinion. And then Slingshot, oh, yeah, he's a slingshot, mate. Yeah, I've, I've seen him, mate. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? He's a really good shooter as well, isn't he? Glow in the dark cop, you're right, mate. He said, hello, mate. Do you have any thoughts about the about the ban back in 2004 on batons, etc.? Total joke. I have two PR24s, and they will have to pry them out of my car dead hands. <laughs> I don't know. It's a ridiculous thing to ban them. You know what I mean? Because I'd say, you know, them um, batons are non-lethal, aren't they? You know, you'd have to, you, you could kill someone with them, but you'd, there's a things that do it a lot easier, aren't there? Like usual, all those bands are totally fucking ridiculous, don't they? Yeah, and it's a pity. That's what it's like in this country. You're not allowed anything, are you? Things that worry said it's warm here where I am too. Toby Hammer, oh nice. Yeah, yeah, I've got like my proper bug out bag, if you know what I mean, like a camo bag, and I've got one that looks more like a normal bag someone would carry like on a train or something, and then backup ones for other people. But I need to make another one. Next to Zulu, Gamekeeper John. What a shot with the cat. Yeah, he's really good, isn't he? 
Actually, um, we had severe weather warning in Scotland. It stopped raining. Sun's out. Yeah, the weird thing is it's hot now, but it was raining earlier. But I'm like almost sweating here. And then this room's quite hot anyway. Day two, you're right, mate. He said, afternoon, mate. How's it going? This heat's been killing me. Yeah, as I was just saying, it's quite hot, isn't it? The weird thing is it rained earlier. I had to get a load of bloody towels back in. Just, just hung out a whole line of towels. And then to get them all back in again five minutes later. Hold up, player. By the way, if anyone plans on visiting the US, do not eat any of the romaine lettuce. There's been a big outbreak of E. coli. All right. I'll be right there then. I ain't coming over for the foreseeable future. Not that I don't want to, but I just can't afford to. Problem the stuff, we had quite a lot of heavy rain earlier. Yeah, it rained for quite a few hours here. Gravy bait kill, all right. He said, do the police keep a record of owners of antique firearms? I'm wanting to buy a musket, but I don't want to get it confiscated in a few years' time. I'm not sure, mate. Hopefully someone might be able to answer that for you, though. And maybe someone who knows, but I don't know. Not sure, because technically you don't need a licence, so I suppose as long as um, if they didn't know and weren't told, they would never know you had it, I suppose, would they? Number cell blue paint, the PR24 is pink and keep them in the bedroom drawer so when the police search the house, just tell them they belong to the missus. <laughs> yeah, what an extendable, <laughs> you imagine it. Fucking extendable deal, though. Glow in the dark, got, uh, totally true. I could go to B&Q and buy a pickaxe shaft. I hold a section one and a section five license, so buy shotguns and rifles, but an ass baton is somehow more dangerous, lol. Yeah, it's totally ridiculous, isn't it? I just, I can't understand the mentality of it half the time. Especially things like that. I think that was just because they were getting really popular. Loads of people were buying them, so they just thought, yeah, get rid of them. Slingshot Warrior, I bought bug repellent. I've been in the woods and mosquitoes are terrible and the thickets. Yeah, I was thinking about getting some stuff like that for when I go. For um, ticks and shit like that. Mount got a tick on him. Weapons and stuff. As you can buy it without any sort of license, there wouldn't be loads of info kept on you. No, that's what I think, man. Yeah, unless the person who sold you it is one of these... I've heard, like, there's websites that when you buy stuff, they like to tell the police. Don't know whether that's true or not. So unless it was something, like, some company does that, they're not going to know, are they, I doubt. You know, they wouldn't know you had it, would they? Harry, you right, mate? He said, camping on Yorkshire more, right? Now under a camo net, lovely weather for it. Yeah, good. I hope you're having a good time, mate. You end up got, you can buy a musket and no records kept. Only thing is you can't shoot them. Yeah, funny thing is I got prepared for this this time. And I kept out my um, deactivated and obsolete calibre catalogues ready to have a look through. Fallout player said, Jesus, it's fucking cold. Joyce <laughs> Canada's outside. <laughs> you seem to get extreme weather there, don't you? Like when it's hot, it's hot, and when it's cold, it's cold. You know, proper cold. Glow in the dark. In order to do that, section five is needed for the black powder. Yeah, I, we was, I don't know if you was on yesterday, mate. We were actually talking about it yesterday. You could make an air powered tennis ball gun. Yeah, I suppose that's similar to like the potato guns, isn't it? Extra Zulu, Mozzie Rep, skin so soft I've found the bun that's best. Oh, I look into that and yeah, I just thought it might be handy for, you know, especially ticks and that. You know, I've never had a tick on me, but Mount did and it pissed him off. Do you know what I mean? You know. Some stuff. Some probably do take notice like that, but in theory, one person could buy, sell to someone else, then the police no longer know who actually owns it. Yeah, that's correct, mate, definitely. Harry Senior Reactivation Nation. <laughs> Crazy, mate. I've got no chance of getting a license, but thanks. Yeah. Where did you get those catalogues? Interesting to get one. Oh, these are old, sadly. This is a 2007 catalogue, but uh, I like to get it out as a reference just to show some of the people some of the stuff you could get, you know, then that you could still get now, sort of thing. 
But that website, Worldwide Arms Limited, is online if you wanted to look. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but down the bottom is the um, address and that. www.worldwidearms.com Yeah, you can't read it, blurry. Good site. That's where I've got all my deactivates from. I actually saying that, no, I didn't. I got that from it. And when I had my brain and my Uzi, they was from that, from this. Um, thought I played, do you guys across the pond have to deal with Lyme disease? That shit, yeah. That shit's nasty, comes from ticks. Yeah, but that's why it pissed Malcolm off so much, because of the thought of getting, you know, potentially get Lyme disease. Yeah, you can get Lyme disease from ticks over here, yeah. Yeah, that's why it, it really pissed him off when he found it. Maybe I fancy that culture you've got on the right. Um, I cast my own lead, make it a little stuck to put it on. Yeah. You still, you can still, I don't think it's that's a cult, and I think that's a cult as well, isn't it? Um, yeah, both well, well worth buying. <laughs> Extra zero to four, like yeah, lines from ticks also, but maybe not as proficient as over there. Maybe said, do you think air pistols are any good for self defense or not? Uh, in theory, it would work as a self defense thing, but I wouldn't ever risk using a, a air pistol for self defense because you're probably getting a hell of a lot more shit than if you used a stick, say. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, mate. Should worry, have you ever tried making no long singlet pouches? It works wonders for my shoes. No, I've never done that. I've only ever done the leather ones. Or, or leather and fake leather. Going dark, but does anyone remember the old scale mead catalogues? I used to love leafing through those. I can also highly recommend DWS UK for D apps. Really sound guys run the company. I've never had the scale mid catalogs, but Jumble Sale Boo when he comes on, he's all he's mentioned them quite often. I don't know if they were slightly behind before my time. Gravy bait, Tony, if you shot them in the eye at point back range, yeah, yeah, you know, that would yeah, blind them, wouldn't it? Next is you do tick tools are cheap and very good. Trouser twists. Yeah. I was gonna get my. I was thinking about getting myself another pair of um, decent combat trousers. I've tied the bottoms up. I mean, but yeah, trouser twists would be a good idea. All that player, a mephrin works wonders in the woods for ticks and mosquitoes. I was like, I'll write that down. That sounds a good thing to know. If we can get it over here, there are some things that we can't seem to get over here. Jumble Sabu, just pointing a toy gun at someone can land you in a whole world of shit if the other person thinks it's real. Yeah, exactly, mate. You remember the old scale mead, cat scale mead catalogs, don't you? Jumble Sabu, I was saying, I don't know if they were slightly before my time was on, because I've never seen them, but I've heard you mention them, I'm sure I have. JT, oh shit, did I get the name wrong? I thought the one on the far right under the crossbow was a cult. Hang on. Far right under the crossbow... Yeah, that might be as well. Oh, I can't bloody remember. That's, I think that's it is a cult. That's a cult. That's a cult. That's a cult. Actually, that's a cult as well. <laughs> when I think about it, that's a cult python. I think about it's my army. Can't remember the end. No, that's probably not that right down the end saying that. I can't bloody remember. Someone will tell you in a minute. <laughs> There's quite a few cults out there. No, no, I can't. 511 tactical trousers. Any thoughts, mate? I can't see past them. Never had any, so I don't know. And if they're deer, probably be out of my range. You know what I mean? Well, I tried to get a can of tick repellent, but not enough money. Where I am, sunblock is an essential everyday carry during the summertime. Well, I always, if I ever go out, I always have to make sure I carry it because I'm um, short air. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll get sunburn on my head. 
Number of Sabu, yeah, Skarmo, it was circa late 80s. Yeah, that's probably why I've never seen it, because I was born 1980, so. Fallout player, yeah, it's legal everywhere. And put it on dogs. Don't put it on cats, though. Kill them, I think. It's $10 on Amazon for a 24 ounce bottle. Dave Krogan, Permethrin is in flea pet, pet flea powder. All oh, right. Things up because I have fair skin. Yeah. Red Knot Z. Looks like a Navy carp. Looking stuff. Some British camo trousers might have trouser ties, so some don't. Modern British MTP trousers all have trouser ties. All right. Yeah. I'll have to look into that because you sent me a link to some, didn't you, before the um, flat tan trousers, wasn't it? Well, I've got some combat trousers. I could tie the bottoms up, but they're they're quite old. They've got no zips. I've had to put buttons on the zip or sew the zip up and the crotch is split and I've had to sew that up. So I just thought a nice new pair would do. I mean, Harry Singh said, if they legalise tomorrow... What would you go out and buy? Oh, if I could buy like, anything, oh, everything, mate. I'd buy everything you could think of if it was all legal. Flick knives, you know, I'd be on there ordering everything you could get. If Well, if I had the money anyway. Let's say if they legalised it and I got left some money, I'd go and buy everything you could think of, mate. <laughs> everything. Brian said, that pistol you have might be a Remington. I definitely don't have any Remingtons, I know that. Cheers for that, mate. Makes me feel old. <laughs> oh, what, lol. Just turned 45. That's not that old. That's not that much older than me. You know, Sam, you right, mate? Put that pen down. I've always been clicking it all the time. Things like, or put medication powder in your shoes to reduce sweating and itching. Oh, I'm all, funny thing is, I'm all right with my feet. I don't ever tend to get um, sweaty or itchy feet. Weapon and stuff. The flat tie trousers don't have trouser ties, but they are nice thick trousers for summer trousers. The British MTP ones are much better. Uh, brilliant camo as well, but quite thin. That's for desert use. Now uh, that that'll be good for summer though, wouldn't it? Like you said, yeah. I'll, I'll look into that. All right, Paul, you Brits in here, make your favourite kind of tea. I promise not to throw it in the harbour. Well, my favourite kind of tea. Is black coffee. <laughs> I've never tea for me was weird. I never ever drank tea when I was um growing up, if you know what I mean. And then when I started working, I think a lot of people don't. And when you end up working, you're forced to tea's forced upon you. So I started drinking tea and then I went off it because I always have a dirty uh when I drink tea, I have a dirty um sour milk taste in my mouth and you can't really drink uh black tea you know you can but it's not very nice so then i got given coffee once and then that was it i was on black coffee for since dead not see navy cult i think that is it mate i just can't ever remember this as soon as i come on these live streams i can't remember a bloody thing when it's things like that I can't even remember the name of the new guns where a boo wife is, right, mate? Furious Ham, normal tea, he said. Ravy Bait Gill said Yorkshire tea. Furious Ham, Yorkshire tea. Ravy Bait, anything else, toss it in. Yeah, if I was going to drink tea, just any tea bag. Anything. I'll, what they call builder's tea, you know, the cheapest tea you can get. Weapon stuff. I like green tea, neat, no milk or sugar. Great for burning fat. Yeah, that's the kind of tea you can drink black, isn't it? Green tea and um, some of the other ones like that actually due to typhoon rumble salvo seen a lot of changes in the weapon legislation in the, in the past 30 years nothing surprises me anymore with these liberal tosses in the home office when stuff notification just came up to your video yeah it's disgraceful ain't it when you know how long what's that half an hour into it i suppose it's not terrible at least it went after it but <laughs> do you know what I mean? right back i meant toss it in the harbor we knew what you meant mate you know, Sam was a pain in the ass to get my sleeping bag in last night. It just I just rammed it in the sack and hope for the best. <laughs> That's what I'm 
tell you, this will sound weird. That's the only thing I need to get for my bug out bag. You know, I've not got a decent sleeping bag. I had that one I did a review on, but it was like a really big one for like, it was designed for like someone who was like six foot five and really big. Uh, yeah, so it was nice and big, but I'd want a like really small thin one, I think. Where am I? Well, yeah, YouTube's been drunk on tea today. Yeah, exactly, mate. Um, things that were mountain bikes are quite good for a road trip today. Yeah, that's something I want to get. I was hoping I could get one like cheap. Normally, I get two though. One to say your stream starts in thirty minutes, and then the one when it starts. Today, I've just got the start one twenty-five minutes late. Ah. I didn't know they did that actually, half an hour on early. Here's some best cure for a bad day, nice cup of coffee or tea. Yeah, I've got my um, great big cup of coffee there, letting it cool down a bit. I need to try and make it last a bit. <laughs> right, player. Um, you think they have tea shits like they do coffee shots? <laughs> shots or shits? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you do if they do do like tea shots if that's what you meant. <laughs> yeah, he did say nut shits. Man, like, did you have handguns prior to ninety five? I was never fully compensated for my Webley for father. Now I'm not old enough for that, but I there are a couple of people on here who might be old enough and did. I'm sure I've heard them talk about it. Well, I thought that player shots not shits. Double side boot. I have a German army sniper sleeping bag. Has arms in it, and you can pull your feet out so you can walk in it. It's waterproof. So you can sleep on the floor of it. Ah, oh, nice. Here is some auto correct, no big surprise. Land Art got not going to be popular, but as my username suggests, I'm a UK EA cop and <laughs> now known as CNC. I don't get I looked up Glow in the Dark Cop, see what it was. <laughs> Things that well, I used mine for seventy dollars and I fixed it up. I bought mine. Oh, what your um sleeping bag? Sorry, sound cool stuff. Weapons. There is Wittards that sell all sorts of tea. Costa and the big coffee chains all do tea and hot chocolate, etc. JT got a train yesterday, mate, with a cab scratched on the window. You've been on your travels recently, have you, mate? <laughs> No, it wasn't me. <laughs> it's funny when you see that, because you don't actually see it very often. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got Stu, he said, learning a good brew, you can't beat it. This country was made on it. Yeah, exactly. Make sure I got a really good bike for the price. Oh, is that what you meant? Oh, you bought your bike for $70 and fixed that. Yeah, I'll definitely, I wouldn't mind getting a bike. It would mean I could travel... Further and easier. You know I, mean? I don't mind walking, but you can just get faster, can't you? You know, you can ride and get somewhere quicker. UK survivor, I bought mine cheapo, 10 quid sleeping bag. It's okay for what it is. I think that's all you need after time. I don't get really cold anyway. Crazy bake. What do you think if you win, if you did the Hunger Games? Oh, who would win? Ray Mears or Bear Grylls? I don't know. I don't know what goes on in the Hunger Games. Because I, I think in a, like a survival situation, Ray Mears would be living in luxury pretty much. You know, when I say luxury, in survival luxury, do you know what I mean? The Bear Grylls would be <laughs> eating fucking shit. You know what I mean? I like Bear Grylls, but you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what goes... You know, Bear Grylls might be better at combat stuff, seeing as he's been in, like, wasn't he in the... Um, Reserve SAS or something, or the Territorial Army SAS or something, wasn't he? You know what I mean? Um, you know, she might know a bit about combat, whereas Raimi's wouldn't. Raimi isn't into um, anything like that. Things that were bought by used cheap at the thrift store. Uh, for that player, I think everyone who can should use a bike as much as possible, though here in the States, distance for travel are much further than they are in Europe. Yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah, I want to get a bike. It's just trying to 
you know, get one for cheap. You know what I'm I've got my sleeping bag for 23 quid, including shipping and postage. That's good. Dave Carr can drink and pay. Yeah, that's what he'd be doing. While Ray Mears would be there with a nice cooked meal that he'd caught, you know, a bit of fucking crayfish and fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Jumbo Sabu, Mike, I disagree with your tact. Only some coppers are bastards, and the other lot are complete and utter wankers. <laughs> Crazy Bake, will you ever watch Ed Stafford? Never heard of him, mate. What is that then? I'll write that down. I wouldn't say I wouldn't, but I don't know what it is. Don't you know what I mean? Oh, so you ever watch Ed Stafford? No, I've not, mate. Well, play Jewel Survivor is a pretty good show. To watch him get some sort Yeah, I've never seen that. Drew, you'd be better as... You'd be wet... I can't even talk now. You, you'd be better with as... Do you like Gordon Ramsay? Yeah, I don't mind Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, he's quite funny. He's, he can make you laugh. He's <laughs> fucking over the top swearing, can't he? I'm just, I don't like biking around here. Roads are awful and I worry about being run over. My mate bikes a lot. He has been knocked off by cars a few times. Lucky nothing serious. Yeah, I would never ride on the roads or anything. I'd probably do, when I go for my sort of nighttime walks, I would ride and go further. You know what I mean? And stick to places where that couldn't happen. But I know what you mean. I would never ride a bike to work and stuff. Fuck that. Next phrase you would do. Ray Mears, far, far better. Uh, BG, yeah, Bear Grylls. Mears used to instruct often yeah yeah Raymond knows his stuff more don't he? you know what i mean you could he would you know it would, it would be easy for him Great team all up the canals where i live i see one three one two which is meant to be a cab but with a more covert you know what i mean yeah and there's another one if you ever see someone with the just dots there that's supposed to mean it as well or if I live in the UK, I would stash my gear underground in those deep tunnels you've got. Yoakum, right, he said, what weapons, weapons do weapons do you like best? <laughs> I don't know, I like all weapons. What well, player, it takes like donkey shit. And I love these creative insults. Ed Stafford is great. Crazy bait. He does a show called Naked and Marooned. Get dumped on the desert with literally nothing for two months. Ah, right. Or I ride the road all the time here. Jump over. Lofty Wiseman. Yeah, Lofty Wiseman, definitely. Yeah, he is definitely the daddy of it. Great. I fancy Harley Davidson, fat boy, beautiful bike. Yeah, Don Lofty Wiseman, definitely. You know, he would be the king of all of them. Do you know what I mean? Tell you what, I always used to like watching as well the old Bush Tucker Man. You remember that? Les Hiddens, I think his name was. Sure, Sam, I've got to go. I'll be on if you've got a live stream on tomorrow, mate. See you later, mate. I won't be on tomorrow unless it's like not this kind, unless I do one randomly in the day. Next one, Julie JT likes C18. Glow in the dark clock. Okay, Glock 17 at the moment. I prefer 19. Any thoughts? Get in contact as I had a heap of old kit I think you'd love. Ah, uh, I don't know, mate. I ain't got the thing is I don't have a lot of opinion on actual firearms because I'm never going to be able to um, use them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It says you jumbles. Greed lofty, yeah. Stu, I think your messages are stopping halfway through. He said, what about B? Bear, I don't know. You, are you making your walking stick out of wood or something else? Uh, it'd be, um, it's a replacement hoe handle. Um, and I think it's mango wood, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. 
Pretty sure it's mango wood. I could be wrong. All that player Joe Robinette has a YouTube channel actually really damn good he was also on the show alone where people have to survive on an island in Canada for as long as possible all right I've never seen that there's the things there's loads of them now aren't there? in the old days there's very you know very rarely anything like that or a mine is made out of dogwood and awesome yeah yeah i'm pretty sure it's um mango wood i'm not sure though i have to wait until it comes to have a look at it Stu, yes mate sorry yeah, don't worry about it mate but yeah i have noticed that your messages are cutting off short Bone of dark cop. i am watching through your old vids this week top work mate what is the middle gun on the wall below the sbs shotgun what that one there if that's what you mean, that is a um, Chinese model 86S bullpup rifle. It's like a modified AK-47. Deactivating, obviously. The ATX I wouldn't really... I wouldn't know really, mate. I've got a couple of friends who are proper into bikes, but they showed me a picture of one and I thought it was mint. Yeah, I've never really seen them properly, to be honest. Fall up, play. I've got to go. See you later, mate. He's uh, glowing the dark clock. No, bud, the long arm looks like a single barrel shotgun. Yeah, I don't know what that um, I don't know what that one's called. The that one, the um, single barrel and the double barrel, they were deactivated and they're about that was about like 40 and 60 quid each. So, not not a lot, but um. Oh, there's not a lot of detail on them. That's, let me look at. The, I'll tell you what. I, could, I know exactly where to find the detail. I can never remember, but I thought, yeah, this will have it on it, wouldn't it? Pete's right, mate. Yeah, there's not a lot even on it. Top double barrel shotgun. It says double barrel shotgun gun mark. And then the other one, single barrel shotgun Midland gun co. It's all the info I know on them. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's weird. I don't. I've never actually known what that single barrel and double barrel, is, what the makes are. Just one of them things, you know what I mean? Um, I'll try and remember to find you some MTP trousers on eBay, Mike, when the stream ends. Lots of sellers have their sizes. Oh, nice. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. Yeah, if it's in my sort of price range, I'll get some. Well, I think it would be a good idea to grow a vegetable garden and raise a chicken. Raise chickens. Yeah. Well, I grow one vegetables and that. Well, I say I do. I have done. Like one year I'll do it and then next year I won't. You know what I mean? Glenn the Dark said, yeah, that's the one, mate. Thanks for replying. I was just curious. Yeah, no, weird enough. I don't know a lot about it. I never have. 
And it was just cheap. I wanted, you know, because the shotgun doors look really good. You know what I mean? You guys, well, you should get a cheap PC desktop. It might help you. I have. This is this is a um. I want a PC right now. This is a got it for seventy quid with a monitor, the keyboard, everything. Uh, four gigabyte RAM, Windows Seven. They're not really up to date, but you know what I mean. But good enough. Because why have you skipped there? Yeah, read that. JT, Echo Zulu. I'll write on thick as shit, me. Like that. <laughs> I'm soft. Wish there were still the app shotguns for cheap like that. Rarely see them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like that, them two, that was like 40 and 60 quid or something, or, or 50 and 70 quid. It was amazing, you know. Where am I? I'm getting lost on Harry Senior, how long do you think before they start banning online knife sales? I've got into collecting myself and I'm stunned they haven't banned it yet. Oh no, they're on about doing it soon. They want to do it soon, don't they? They're gonna try they're gonna to try to stop you being able to um have them sent to a home address. So you might be able to still get them sent to a post office and then take ID. You heard of us yet? <laughs> oh, didn't even realise. Yeah, no, I had to get like a, a um, my laptop. I have no good, so I had to get like a cheap um, PC. But yeah, this. If you know how to make and shoot a slingshot, you'll always have meat on the table. Yeah, that's definitely true, mate. Rumble Sabo, I think it's silly. You're not allowed to shorten the barrel on a D act yourself. No, I know. I think that's a pity, but um, I can sort of understand it though. But yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I suppose it'd be different for the stiff cuts, wouldn't it? But um, yeah. The only thing you can get like that is the uh, well, you can buy one if it's already shot, can't you? But um, do like that replica, the little um, the little shotgun, you know, replica shotgun. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, would be a good prop for that price and open the breach or is it welded shut? No, it still opens. Yeah. I'll get the double barrel down with them on this side. They both open the same. Bad arm. I don't know if you even get to see where I hang on. Yeah, looks, you know, definitely has a good look at the dust on there. See the, see the old box in it. I've cocked it now. Press the safety up. There's the old cutouts in it. Uh, where was I? Dumbbell said, Buddha coach gun from Denix, you mean, mate? The double barrel hammers. Yeah, that's the one. This needs a good old clean. You could have got some oil recently. Arthur, Seth, you're right, mate. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Please pray right now. God is always listening. What are we praying about? And all, I want you to all pray along. And we're going to pray that the Home Office doesn't ban any more weapons. All right. How's that, Arthur, Seth? <laughs>
that is what you call trolling a troll. <laughs> and staying so worried. And I was upset, hey man. <laughs> Things that were a nice shotgun. How's it is all go, going all lock stock? Dave Corrigan, God Squad. Um Lone Duck, can you upload pics on this chat? I would like to show you guys what they do to EU spec Jack handguns, but a live one. I can take pics at the armory and I think you guys would be interested. Yeah, if you you would have to um send me like you wouldn't be able to do a link but yeah i could if you can get them to me i could show you them yeah i could show them on here i mean sorry uk five ray man uh pink uh brand for uk legal carry <laughs> jumble sabo i love racking my dx short barreled mosberg 500 with folding stock i think i sent you a video that didn't i like, yeah you did yeah yeah Half oh, after that, I'm not trolling. I love God. Oh, sorry then. Sorry for accusing you of being a troll. It's just we get trolls on here, and then I just automatically assumed you were. And uh, I can respect that then. Yeah, Jumble Server, yeah, it is nice. You can just see the, sh the pump action at the top. It is nice having a mess around. That's partly why I got one. And now I've got nothing against people religious, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, if you go in the dark, if you go on to my channel, on the about section, there's an email. Just send them to that email or something, mate. All right, where am I? Um, Dave Corrigan said, Amen. Half said, I'm not trolling, I've got it. Half said, Some say Jesus saves, not on money, he couldn't. Think so, well, I'm a Christian too. Half says, much love. God bless you, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, sorry. I just, because we sometimes get people doing that as like trolling. You know what I mean? So, they're not Z. Jesus saves Moses scores on the rebound. Thanks for worry, thanks. Richard Smith, right, mate? He said, hi, Michael. I filmed my first YouTube video. It's a bow shooting video. I really hope you can. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it, mate. I'm just going to go on to your channel now. I won't watch it now, but I'll sub to you now, and then that'll be in my subscriptions. I am your first subscriber. I'll watch that later after the stream, mate. Right, where am I? Glow in the dark. Got any thoughts on Freemasonry? I don't really know anything about it, to be honest. It, you know, it seems quite interesting, you know what I mean? Quite bizarre, you know, these sort of shadowy organisations. But I don't really know. I, mean, I bet it's interesting to look into, though. Good topic with just these guys on about God, etc. Yeah, I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't really know nothing about Freemasonry. Only they wear them rings, don't they? You know, you have to um, pinch your nipple when you shake hands or something. <laughs> Take it if everyone's on here, no one's watching the um, Eurovision Song Contest then. <laughs> I don't watch it anyway. But, um... Nearly accidentally stopped the bloody stream then. I mean, we actually didn't click something. Uh, all right, Jack. He said, just joined. I know a few Masons. Don't do it. I've been in the lodge for 30 years. Any questions, just ask by. I'll look into it. See, you know, but yeah, I don't know anything about it, really. Actually, three Masons, NWO. I have seen you. Where Ski Mask tell us his real name. <laughs> JT, speaking of God, have you seen Far Cry 5? No, the, the newest games I've got is that and that. That's about as up-to-date I am again. Well, I, don't know. I haven't had a drink tonight. Your reason sober is torture. 
Uh, hands on eyes on higher. You alright mate? If you're leaving an old went to get to the stream earlier, but was watching a video on the Enfield Portal Guard. Alright. Grand Dark said your reason sober is not fun and you want to anyone want to buy my wife. <laughs> Think or well, God it God is law allows you to fend, to defend your life and your family's life by any means as long as it's in self defence. Number five, I believe buffaloes are the working man's version of the Freemasons, isn't it? Very senior, Far Cry 2 for life, bro. I don't think I've played any of the Far Cry's. There's no reason I haven't, I just haven't. Brave Corrigan. He said, do you have to be invited to join the um, Masons? <laughs> Half do you believe in God? I personally don't. But, I, you know, I don't, you know, it doesn't bother me if other people do. You know what I mean? JT, Harry Senior, Far Cry 3, mate. Bar's best villain going. Turn it up. No, you join the craft. You just have to ask. That striker, you can apply. Why cry can pay? Yeah, I don't really, I don't know anything about it, I'll be honest with you. Never looked into it. That's weird. I'm getting, um, I'm getting notifications for recommendations to channels I don't even subscribe to. That pisses me off, that does. Why are they wasting their time? They're wasting their time sending me a notification for a channel I don't even subscribe to. Well, I was just having a rant about something then, but <laughs> you lot don't even know what I'm on about. I just I was checking a notification. It was on about not getting notifications early, and now I'm getting notifications for a channel I don't even fucking follow. Half oh, Zephyr, God loves you. Oh, good to know. Things that were, yes, things that were, yes, he does. Dumbledore, I do. I love that Only Fools and Horses scene where Del Boy goes clay shoot with a pump out of shotgun. Yeah, that is good. I like that. Then of course, and yeah, I've been getting them lately. Lady Potatoes, you right, mate? Said, yeah, YouTube pushes random videos now, now and they can't even be consistent with those you're subject. No, that's why it annoys me. Because, um, yeah, you don't get no notification for the people you subscribe to, and then they get shit like that to people I don't even think I watch their videos. Do you said, do you believe in ghosts? I personally don't either. JT, Proud Boys is like a... Men's club, I think it would be like Masons, don't know. Learn dark. What is with all this religious talk about? And I totally get what you mean about those daft notifications. Yeah, it's, it's bizarre that you know, I don't want them sending me crap when I don't get the ones I want. Arthur Smith said the Darwin drawing and stuff. I imagine clay shooting with an automatic shotgun. Yeah, I, I imagine clay shooting with a Auto shotgun like an AA twelve. I don't really meant all of it. <laughs> oh, Seth, Jesus Christ, the Lord! You as well. Good old fools and horses. I haven't watched it in a while. No, I've I've got a load of. I don't know. I've got any on DVD, you know. But yeah, I did used to love Own Fools and Horses. Great show that was. I like the really old ones with Granddad. Granddad, he was every single time he opened his mouth, you'd know it would be something hilarious. He was very very funny. Granddad was, wasn't he? Lady Potatoes, I know 12 clay beard and shooting sounds magical. <laughs> Things that were according to the Bible, ghosts aren't over here. Did I read that? No, I've read, I've read your comment and I've read half your comment and the one below. According to the Bible, ghosts aren't human. Half Seth trying to start a crusade over here. <laughs> JT, fucking hell, boys, it ain't Bible study. <laughs> It's weird getting out. What's that say? Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're having a conversation about something. Look, what? Look at the video that you're watching. Look at the information underneath it. I think there's some information there. Do the drop down bit. 
pretty sure that says I don't talk about religion. <laughs> I can't remember if it does or not. If not, I'll have to add it on. Brown and dark. I have been clay shooting with my brown in five semi auto. It's quite normal. All right. I'm say, but I can't think of many places would allow a pump or an auto shotgun uh, due to safety things, as they can't they can't break a pump or auto. Plus, if you can't hit a clay with two shots, you shouldn't be shooting. <laughs> Pete said, "How Satan?" And then Rev Sub said, "Yeah, politics and religion." Yeah, I couldn't remember my own rules there. <laughs> Stone dark clock, ghosts don't exist. I've seen a lot of dead bodies. Once you're dead, that's it. Yeah, exactly. That's how I see it. <coughs> he said, MK, hi, okay, I've seen. Yeah, I, I do me. <laughs> Almost out. Sex is no. I don't think sex is much of a better topic. So then you start that. I don't want the same thing thing we had last night going on. Bloody hell! I know. <laughs> Keep it shut. <laughs> don't start that again. I'm dreading the thought of th thx coming back on. Starting these fucking things. Next way soon who said yes agreed hands on eyes and obviously what's the best and worst weapons you've ever made oh, i've done some crappy old like like um clubs and that that was really rubbish and um um i don't know i'll have to think about it i'll get i'll get back to you on that one a weapon buys you've ever made <laughs> Um, I bought some really crap knives. I'll tell you that really crap knives. Uh, best weapon I probably ever bought. You know, is it a weapon? <laughs> yeah, def definitely. Probably. Well, the best one I've bought recently is that. Definitely, I fucking love the Horizon crossbow. Absolutely brilliant. What is a shame so many KFC is closed? Don't say be laughing. Um, Pete said, did I miss that sex part? I'm not repeating it. If you want to know, go on to the stream yesterday. I'm not repeating that fucking shit, I tell you. <laughs> go on the stream yesterday, like last half an hour. Actually, Julie, the chickens have been given rights. Stuart said, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Growing up, my wife looked over my shoulder and said, who is that man? And why the hell are you engrossed in your computer when you're on? I just shook my head. <laughs> I know, they probably think, what the hell are we watching, watching this old crap for? Do you know what I mean? Extra Julie Peach, I missed the sex part. Jack Stryker, it's a sporting good, Mike, not a weapon. Yeah, that's what I meant. That, exactly. The best sporting good I ever bought... Was the uh, Horizon crossbow? <laughs> well, that's just because it's not a weapon, though. Anyway, is it? You know what I mean, JT. Anyone else missing paper fivers? I've never got any bloody money to miss them, mate. Lady potatoes, nope. Omar Sadiq, Don abuse. <laughs> Don't know what you mean, mate. <laughs> Uh, hands and eyes, and yeah, the horizon looks fucking good. Um, just not keen on the zombie green there. No, I actually wouldn't have got a green one, but it was either wait or just get the green one. So I just got the green one. You know what I mean, but I would have preferred the black one. Dumbledore, I've always thought bargain buckets are. Always thought bargain buckets are plenty in Essex. <laughs> Lady potato, I like the plastic ones because they don't feel rubbish in the rain and get grubby. I don't know what you're on about now. I'm Lady Potatoes, so I have um getting behind our buckets. 
No master deep, what a fuck. <laughs> Pete said my mum says turn that to a new voice down. <laughs> That's sad. Umar says sexy, sexy, sexy. Glow in the dark. Has anyone used a Ouija board? I think they're nonsense, but everyone has a spooky story, that's it. I've done a Ouija board, but um nothing happened. Oh, lady, oh, the notes. Yeah, oh, like the plastic ones because they don't feel rubbish in the rain or get grubby. I was getting confused. You was all about buckets, and I thought you meant bloody plastic buckets. <laughs> no, that's my fault. It's not yours. I've just, um, I get sort of mixed up with comments because they're like in, interspersed. Do you know what I mean? Plastic notes. Lady Potato, sorry, I was on about fivers, but slow mode one. Yeah, no, nah, my fault. I get confused. I said, those are about buckets, and you send like plastic ones. Oh, senior, never wanted a zombie knife. They got banned. No, I was never interested in them anyway. I didn't get one, you know. My, I bet I bet 99% of them um, zombie knives was um, the really old crap, you know, wall hanger things. Just give them a foot of scratch. Oh, senior, I've read that. Pete said used a Mario board before. <laughs> Luigi board, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used a Luigi board once. I hope everyone's been liking the stream. Gets it shared a bit more. Number said, boo. Num the zombie knives are cheap rubbish, not worth the bother. No, I've no, I never got one. I never had any... Um, Interest in them. Weapons are off. Pete said along. <laughs> Luigi boy. Jack Striker, you can still get zombie knives. They've just been rebranded. Yeah. That's what I thought they'd do. You know, like you said, they have. So. Weapons are fairy knives. <laughs> yeah. Change it from a zombie knife to yeah, a fairy knife or a ghost knife or a, you know, anything. Troll knife. Any potatoes, cuddly and friendship knives. <laughs> oh, senior, sorry, I only wanted one when they got banned. Hot item now. Oh, sorry, yeah, I missed that. Yeah, I was never interested in them personally, but yeah. Because you can just get the exact same knife anyway. <laughs> just without the green handle or the writing, do you know what I mean? I'm sorry. But I wonder if the United Cutlery Cyclone M48 would be classed as a zombie knife due to the blade design. I'm not sure, because I don't know how many of those things it has to be. You know what I mean? Does it have to have all three of the things it mentions, or just one of them? That can't just have one, because that would come under every single knife going, wouldn't it? Jack Striker, I'm going to buy a shit ton of knives this summer. As a fuck you to the government. Yeah, I don't blame you, Jack. Well, I probably would have had the money. But... JT, they only banned the zombie knives because the fucking plastic gangsters were fighting with them. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure air cannons are legal in the UK. I don't know nothing about them, to be honest, mate. Weapon stuff, I quite like those orange knives. Would be good for bushcraft if you drop it. Yeah, definitely. When I, if I ever got back to doing my... Um, Tantos and the pry bars. I was gonna try and do that. I the only thing is I ordered it. I ordered fucking loads of orange paracord, red paracord, all these really nice paracords for the handles. And it turned out just a weird coincidence. The bloke was like ripping everyone off and getting their money and then not sending the stuff. But lucky I didn't lose any money. So I never did get all the all the different kinds of paracord that I wanted to do the handles. But I wanted to do the you know the knives with orange paracord and stuff like that. I'm glow in the dark. <laughs> Stu, did you and your brother go trick or treating? Yeah, yeah. We used to go trick or treating stones. <laughs> I think I've done a video on it, but yeah, stones and you go trick or treating, open to get money to buy more, you know. X-ray weapons, more do a good one. Yeah, funny thing, that's exactly what I was going to say, that the more do orange. Um... Uh, 
Lady potatoes, the more and the nicer. I bought a hundred meter reel of paracord off eBay recently. It was only about eight quid. Yeah, it's good prices, really, isn't it? JT, I fancy a K bar quality knife. Yeah, I never had a proper K bar. Have you ever tried throwing a tomahawk? No. I've gone, I ain't got one to do it. I had a mate who had an elastic landed on his knife. He accidentally dropped it and got stabbed 27 times. <laughs> it was really more a good kit. Lady potatoes, uh, but more as I'm not. Full tang, so probably not the best knife to beat down on them. Yeah, they're, they're tough though, I'll tell you. I've seen people, you know, that even though they're not, they're probably like the best quality non ball tang knife you can get. I mean, there are openers with bright wood handles as well. well. I didn't know that. Well, I don't think I did anyway. Blown the dark. I meant to mention earlier, I had a replica Thunderbird ray gun, which I had it when I was. Oh, seven. Oh, nice. Never had anything like that, like sort of film or movie episode, I don't think, of like, you know, stuff like that. Next was you do lady plays. Yeah, shouldn't batten with your knife. You could probably buy bright orange tennis racket tape and wrap around the handle for improved grip and brightness. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not worry you can throw one of your meat clay. Can you? No, you can You can also throw one of your meat clay. I used to be really good at throwing. I used to have a dagger that I could throw and hit in something about that, you know, target that big every single time, hit every single time. Uh, I ain't got that now. And the last time I, that, that was like 20 years ago. How old am I? Yeah, 20 years ago. Maybe more, 22 years ago. Um, yeah, and I tried to do some throwing about five or six years ago. Couldn't hit anything. I could have I could have carried on for longer, though, but I didn't. And I have three of them. If anyone wants to buy one, same size and weight as what mine here. Lady Pots. And so I mean, clear can be thrown like a tomahawk. All right. <laughs> Never ever tried it. I doubt I'd be able to throw that one though, because it's um very very heavy. But you could throw it, but I wouldn't want to, the weight of it. I didn't watch Hellraiser 5 in the end. I didn't have time. I'm going to watch it in the week now. Hopefully, if I watch um, 5 on Sunday, 6 on Monday, 7 on Tuesday, 8 on Wednesday, 9, yeah. Hopefully, I might watch the whole lot of them up to 10 by next stream. Yeah, that I made that myself. Anyone else use anyone else use knife warehouse? No, I've never used it, mate. 80 Uzi, the original ghetto blaster. Yeah. I was driving a Diac Uzi, but I sold it. Years ago, Richard Smith, I saw on TV a while ago about blades, police sees used in gang wars, and one sword was a wall hanger, Aragon sword from Lord of the Rings movie. That cost about 300 quid new at the time. Yeah, that's probably the ones that come out of the um, thingy bins, isn't it? You do see, like, if you don't know nothing about knives or anything like that or weapons, I bet all of that stuff looks like, oh my God, look at it. But when you know about it, you look at it and you go, that's an air rifle, that's that's uh, air rifle, that's a BB gun, that's a wall hanger, you know, that's a bloody toy, <laughs> you know. Looks impressive when you don't know what it is. Light keeps flashing. I don't know if that's showing up on here. XA Zulu throwing knives. Shouldn't do that either. 
make super spear points. Yeah, um, you know, like I said, I used to throw knives, but I just I'm not really into it now. I wouldn't mind doing it for a video though. But it's just getting it's getting into it again. Last time I practiced about an hour, and I don't think I hit once. But it was with a shitty crap throwing knife. Maybe I need a better one. That's right, I think knife warehouse are expensive. Going dark, so I can't wait. Uh, weapon stuff. Just like plastic furniture on guns compared to wood, makes no difference to good or bad things done with a gun, but black plastic is scary. Yeah, that's right. That's true, do not it? Bad potatoes, yeah, half the crap the place sees from that gang stuff would just snap if it was used. Yeah. You know, I said it looks impressive when you don't know nothing about it. When you know stuff about it, you know, especially them, um, when they tip out them gun thing. You know, there was one where they, I watched a thing, I don't know if it was, may have been a newspaper article saying that, but online. And half the, half the arsenal was, you could see it was BB guns, air guns, stuff like that. Jumbo Serbu, yeah, the same with knife amnesties. The majority on the table are kitchen knives, but what the police do is they put the odd one or two so called combat knives on the top. Lady Potatoes, look yourself. Don't forget your ghost cliff cuisines. Yeah, exactly. Maybe killing rounds and chains or bayonets. <laughs> I love all that. Or have you ever tried making light thrown spears? Yeah, I made a little thrown spear, didn't I? Threw, um, uh, Tumbo's, um, Tumbo did a video about making, um, easy, he did a, like, a request video, like, to do a, um, a little easy spear, so, yeah, I made, like, it wasn't a very long one, it was probably only about four foot long, I don't be a wood I had at the time, but I can make a decent spear. Uh, Richard Smith, what sword? Was only a rat tail tang, so useless for uh, that sword. Was only a rat tail tang, so useless for real use. Maybe you potatoes, heavy sarcasm on that. Yeah, <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, or throwing spikes. Don't know if I've ever done throwing spikes, or not proper ones anyway. Cut some ends off of some nails once. <laughs> Drew said, what's your favourite real handgun? If you had the chance to get one, I'm assuming. Um, I always loved the Desert Eagles. Fucking absolutely loved the Desert Eagles. And I know that they're really impractical and, um, you know, quite pointless. But I just love the look of a, love the look of a Desert Eagle. It's such a, it's quite an unusual looking gun, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> yeah. It'd probably be that. Glenn Duck said, Ray Mears knife after 14 years is being delivered next week. How much did you pay for that, mate? Because they're quite dear, aren't they? But worth it. Said not to stick a cold steel bushman on a broom and it makes a good spear. Yeah, definitely. I knew what you meant, mate. <clears throat> Don't shop worry, you should buy a cold steel torpedo. Yeah, I thought about it. I think they're quite expensive, don't they? For what they are they used to be in the spy tech catalogs I mean, i've got my spy tech catalog out now i would have gone and got it and looked at the price it would have been but i know it's not out harry said desert eagle's a man's gun oh yeah i did have a blank fire in desert eagle once but yeah i just love it's such a unique looking gun i absolutely love the look of the desert eagle i did also used to like the old berettas um you know, Brett and I 2F. We still like the look of them. And I haven't got one. Actually, no, I've got something similar. I do like revolvers, Magnum revolvers with barrels like that. Not like the Colt. You know, like the Colt 5 has got the bit underneath. I like the ones with like the round barrel and this bit cut away. You know what I mean? But this isn't the version I like. This is about the closest I've got to it, though. You know what I mean? Like the Dirty Harry. Um, Magnum, that's nice. What happens after a more practical length pole on Halberd being nearly eight foot is really difficult to move around the house. Lucky I can store it safely in my room. Yeah, I remember you saying that must be a pain in the ass because I bet you keep hitting the ceiling and stuff, don't you? 
Glow in the Dark said, I have paid 650 quid for a ton of offers over a £1,000. So worth it. Yeah, don't we? I remember that's why tech used to sell asps. Yeah. I did a video on um, one of the old catalogs. If you look at my channel, I do like catalog nostalgia where I get some of these old catalogs and just look through. I'm talking about it. Probably only interesting to people like us who've seen the catalogs. Do you know what I mean? But, you know. The JT said, yeah, Desert Eagles are nice. I always think of Bullet Tooth Tony yeah, and the two clips. It took to get crazy fucking Russian, yeah. <laughs> Lady Potatoes, use a tall handle. A rake handle will snap more often than not. Oh, I think so. Or do you, did you see Cobra Kai? No, but I'll, I'll try and have a look soon, mate. Hands on eyes or in raw or shit hit fan situation where everyone went to shit, what normal thing product would you miss the most? Um, don't know. Because I reckon I'd get into it. You know what I mean? I'd soon, you know, I'd miss the internet at first, but you'd give it a couple of weeks, you'd soon forget about that. You know what I mean? Uh, don't know. That's hard to say, unless you're in that situation. Electricity might be one, do you know what I mean? You know. <laughs> coffee, if I couldn't get coffee, that would be something I'd definitely miss, I think. But then I'd soon, give it a couple of weeks, I'd soon be all right. Uh, stuff, yeah, you can buy ash rake handles, etc. It'll be looking for a hardwood handle. Yeah, any hardwood handle's going to be good. But I suppose, you've got to remember, though, um... A rake handle, though, although it won't be as good as a delicate spear handle, it is made for being used, doesn't it? So it's going to be reasonably, reasonably good compared to other things you can get. I reckon a rake handle would definitely be stronger than a broom handle. You know what I mean? And like you said, if it's hardwood, that will make a difference. Very senior. I like that revolver he's got in Snatch. Even if it doesn't work, heavy. Heavy is good, heavy is reliable. Heavy is good, heavy is reliable, yeah. What? It's got one of them, eh? JT, hands, hands on, eyes on porn, lad. <laughs> Head not say I think most people would miss bog roll. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Definitely bog roll. Yeah, that's a good point there. Bog roll. Uh, because most things, I think you'd get used to it. But yeah, no, that's a very good point. Yeah, bog roll, I think. Yeah, don't we? Anton Eisen, how are you going to finish the stick vintage oil or wax? Oh, God. Jack Stryker, did jam all the time miles of shit, Mike. Yeah, I've, like I said, I don't... I know it wouldn't be, like, a good gun. It, like, that's my favourite-looking gun, if you know what I mean. I've had to have one... You know, say if I was going in the army and you could pick whatever pistol you want, I would probably pick what you would pick, I think, which is the... Brown in high power. Uh, but yeah, I just like the look of the Desert Eagles. It's a very nice looking gun. I'm also about, oh, I've just been notified that you're streaming live. But it's quick, you better get on then. Typical, isn't it? Maybe it's better late than never, I guess. Yeah, I suppose at least the notification was while I was still on. Harry said, was doing an ISA course last week. The guy was showing us his credit card knives. Scary little fuckers. Yeah, I think they're going to be, um, they'll be classed as the stealth knives, wouldn't they? So they'll be, um, quite a bit worried if that new law goes through. Said, oh, sorry, my bad. That was from last night. 
Think shot warrior uh, cotton balls and Vaseline are good for fire starting. Yeah. You know, I've never tried that, but I've seen other people do it. It does look like really easy. Weapons up. Yeah, they are in a grey area. Police can do you for having them if they want to. Yeah. Now, I personally would never bother with them for two reasons. The one reason is what Liam just said, that the grey area with them that you couldn't, you know, look at that Um Because they also, I suppose, once they've been folded into place, it's a locking knife, isn't it? Uh potentially even fixed blade and the other reason was i don't think they're that good to be honest i reckon a um choice only pen knife would be just as good that you know I mean yeah, i think they'd be good for like a survival situation if, if definitely i'll tell you what they'd be perfect for something like a if they're thin a survival tin you know they'd be perfect for that there's a backup blade you know in the slow situation when you've got nothing but um you know in a wallet and that i wouldn't bother personally that's just me i'm not saying anything wrong with them but i wouldn't bother pete says this is from snatch it's a fucking anti-aircraft gun vincent <laughs> good old spaz to her yeah you know, i've always that's another gun i've always liked that's Eagle and the Spaz 12. I always absolutely love the look of the Spaz 12. It was always like the, the baddest looking shotgun, wasn't it? That I mean. Lady Potatoes, yeah, they're certainly a gimmick knife as they're really flimsy most of the time, yeah. Yeah, that's why I think it might be all right in like a survival situation if it was all you had. You'd be better off with a Swiss Army pen knife or something. I said, you're all right, just got in and I was saying, yeah, not bad, mate. Good to see you on. What's your favourite tank? Oh, I couldn't tell you, mate. I don't know. Not into tanks enough to really even name one, sadly. Now, uh, Bush Crappen's on. You're right, mate. Good to see you on. In short, well, what are the UK laws in regard for leather sap gloves? I don't know. Jack Strike, if he's on, maybe I'll answer that. Or um, Campbell Sabu might know. I don't know, though. Uh, I'd assume they would be perfect. Well, I don't know if like sap gloves, yeah, probably illegal because it's a sap glove, but some kind of weighted glove, like illegal to carry anyway. But some kind of heavy gloves would probably be all right. It's all like after I'm all about the definition of things and what they're called. You know what I mean, sap gloves probably illegal, but you know, if you had weighted gloves. For um, I don't know, or heavily padded gloves for riding the motorbike, that'd be all right. Harry Senior said, "Have you ever played House of the Dead Three in arcade that uses spaz?" Yes, I have. I have, mate. Yeah, years and years and years ago. But yeah, I have. First room we went to when we saw them. Well, stuff. I think my favourite legal EDC knife is the Carbon Upper now. Simple and very easy to keep sharp. Second would easily be a sap. Yeah. Definitely. Hundred yeah, House of the Dead Arcade was brilliant. Rumble Serbo sap gloves are marketed as weapons. Yeah, that's why they wouldn't be no good. But bikers gloves with plastic knuckles are okay. Go figure. Yeah, exactly. JT, you know what it's like. I think most people would get away with carrying something around for self defence as long as they aren't being attacked with it and don't look shifty, you'd be alright. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, if you if you if you just look like a normal person all down the road not doing anything, that's how you'll be treated. The, the majority of the time, saying shot warrant said, "Yeah, weird. Oh, that's that's UK laws for you, mate. They're very weird." <laughs> Lady Potato Dumps also hard knuckle combat gloves are fine too. Yeah, what I mean, it's what they're marketed as, really, and what they're called. <laughs> Sap gloves automatically means it's you know. Weapon stuff. I've never been stopped by a cop for anything, so I think I'd be okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, since I stopped drinking and getting into trouble, I have never, ever been stopped by the police since 2001, you know. So, you know. Or even, you know, even out on the street or out and about, not even spoken to by, by one. 
And on I was on six finger gloves with a fake assault finger. <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> you have a weighted. What finger would it be? That one? Have an extra finger here with like a lead weight in it or something. <laughs> I'm good. I've seen leather biker's gloves with lead birdshot inside. Is that legal? I think that is. Like, if it's a biker's glove, yeah. Yeah. Don't take my word on that, but I'm pretty sure that is. Because like I said, it's what they're marketed as. That is to protect you. I don't know how it works, but you know what I mean? I've got some of them nice old tactical gloves. I do like them. Good gloves these are. I'll tell you, these fit me perfectly as well. No, like, and you know, ends on them. You know what I mean? Yeah, um, you know, you know when the, the fingers are too long. Yeah. Yeah, I really like them. They're good gloves. They are fit well, cheap as well. If you're interested in them, go on to um look up look up tactical gloves on my YouTube channel. And then go and buy them with my link on Gearbest, and I'll get a percentage of what you spend. It don't add nothing on to the price or anything, you know. I've been getting some good, good bit of um, what's call it, good bit of commission lately. There's been a lot of people buying stuff. I was hoping that would mean I might get some um. If I get enough, they'll start sending me um, stuff again. Yeah, best you know, if it goes up to a certain amount of money. Then we'll say, but are SAP baseball caps legal over here in the UK? I haven't seen any as anybody else. No, I do remember them though. I think that was from Spy Tech as well, but I wouldn't have a clue, mate. I said, might get some, some say for thinner, full finger gloves. My right gloves are great. In the cold, but massive. Yeah, I bet they are. Um, half my my half thing gloves are great, but we're not freezing. Yeah, I'll tell you what, these are really nice. Yeah, they fit really well. You know, I have worn them in the cold, and they was they're not like really really warm, but oh, they obviously work because it's something on your hands at least. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah. I find them very easy. You know, you can do stuff with them still. You know what I mean? I was just using the mouse then with it. But yeah, if anyone was interested, buy, go to my video, buy them through my link, and then I get some of the money that you spend. You know what I mean? Simon said, look for some good punch-resistant gloves to sharpen my axe and shit. Any recommendations? Uh, not sure, mate. I don't know. Things that work. Can you make an electric weapon in the UK without going to jail? No, you definitely get fucked for that. Yeah. You might not go to jail, per se, but you'd get done for it, you know. So, yeah, you definitely could. Uh, be good for removing all the glass in the garden, too. Pink said BVL. Uh, I've got some wool fingerless gloves. They keep my whole hand warm. That striker, the gloves are not on the banned list of weapons, I suppose. You would have to prove you had a good reason to wear them. I don't rate them anyway. I could knock someone out without it. JT, you know what be good like Peaky Blinders cap instead of a sap baseball cap. Take the take their eyes instead of them putting them spark out. Well, yeah, you've got blades on it, and that's something. Never seen Peaky Blinders yet. Is that what that means, Peaky Blinders? Lady Potato Simon, I mean, it may be overkill, but sand stab gloves are great for that. Oh, yeah, you can get the, um, uh, that's me sort of not really thinking. Yeah, you can get the um, Kevlar gloves, can't you? Yeah, they would work for glass and that. 
In fact, I think my dad might have a pair. When I when I got the um, cut resistant sleeves, he got some cut resistant gloves. Hands on eyes, you can buy anything through Gear Bust. Or does it have to be gloves? No, anything. You if you buy anything, as long as you use my link to go there, you could buy um, you could buy anything you want. You could buy radio. You could buy some bloody I don't know anything, but yeah, no anything as long as you use my links. Yeah, you know I don't know if they sell them, but if you went and bought a telly, you know, I would get something like five to seven percent of what you spend, and the more you spend, the more I get. Yeah, absolutely anything. So as long as you use my links, there's links on every single one of my videos to gear best. Uh, if you scroll down the more. There's, there's one on here. If you look on the info to this video, scroll down a bit. Yeah. One video, maybe I'll get some stab gloves so I can use it for other shit. Yeah, I was I wasn't really thinking, of course, yeah, the um the leather Kevlar gloves, perfect. Things that are, is fireworks legal in the UK and can you weaponize it? Well, you couldn't legally weaponize it, you know what I mean? But yeah. You know. Bushcrapping fireworks are super legal on the mainland. You know, I haven't bought fireworks for years and years and years. Probably haven't bought fireworks since before 2001. You know, and that was just being idiotic, messing around with them. You know what I mean? Bushcrapping, except ones meant to be thrown. Lady potatoes, there is. Of course, restrictions too, as they like to keep them to the evenings and such. Yeah. Now we're seeing it. I think the powders different. Oh, powders different. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, I haven't bought them for years. I know you can still get them, like you said, but they seem to be harder to find shops doing them. You know, I don't know. Do you have to buy them from special like active fireworks shops now? So I remember in the old days you just went to round here, there'd be at least three shops selling them, which would be like the, the post office and Mr. Patel's shop, you know, Mr. Patel's corner shop, and then his other shop, and the other one and there'd be like four shops selling fireworks. So you could go and buy some cans of tent so you could get some fireworks at the same time. <laughs> But now I notice you don't see them anywhere in any of the normal shops. Simon said you can weaponize fireworks if you take a rocket and snap off the rocket and you get a pretty sharp stick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hands on eyes on duly noted on the gear vest. When I make an order, I'll go through one of your links. Oh, cheers, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. I get like, it's like 7 to 10% of what you, um, what you spend, you know, I get. Quite good. Yeah, and it could be absolutely anything. Thing is not worrying off. Flare guns could be useful. Lady potatoes, yeah. If it's not near bonfire night, you pretty much have to go to a shop that specialises in them. Weapon and stuff. Gearbus sell those rip-off 3M masks now, so I might buy one of those at some point, right? Get your bit of commission. Cheers, mate. Yeah. You have to have a look on it. I know they do sell some masks because I looked, but you know when I mentioned it to you about getting some off there? I did have a look, and they do, they don't have loads, do they? But they do have some. Rumble Sour Brew, I think they banned some types of bangers. Yeah, that's what I heard. Not that I ever put a lit one upside down inside an empty glass milk bottle as a kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, like I said, round here, you, even at Bonfire night, you don't see them in the shops now. <clears throat> Not in the local shops. Maybe they just got sick of selling them because of kids and that. But I remember, like, one year, they even got funny about selling people eggs on Halloween, you know. But maybe round my area, they just don't want to sell them because too many kids buying them or, or people buying them, giving them to kids or buying them for kids. You know, spoiling it for everyone, not usual. <laughs> Damn kids. <laughs> I 
What number have we got on? 26. Jerry said, our flare gun's legal. I'm, I, I, I don't think you can... Like, you probably need a firearms license, I think. I mean... Farm said, what happened to firecrackers? Can't find them anywhere. I used to have them as mini TNT smacks in there. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I, I can't seem to find them anywhere now. I'm not, you know. Farms said, idiots with fireworks do really worry me, though. Very easy to start a fire injure, kill someone. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I, if I ever see anyone doing fireworks, I end up, like, over the top. Don't go back near it, you know, be careful with it, you know, because you can blow your face up and kill yourself so easily. Or like you said, start a fire or hurt someone. Things up, warrior, fishing kits are good EDC. I've got fishing kits not on my EDC, but in my um, SS survival tin. Lady Potato said you need a firearms certificate, flare guns. Dumbass, I do, yeah, you need a firearms license for flare gun. Push crap in the insurance has gone mental for fireworks and bonfire nights these days. It was my favourite night of the year, I used to... I used to love, nicked a bottle of wine. I used to love it. Nicked a bottle of wine from my dad and went to the pub with my mates. Off his head. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like bonfire night. It's uh, it's not the same round here anymore, though. It, last time I went, it really pissed me off. But I thought it was going to be like when I was 20, right? When I was 20, we went to the bonfire night, got absolutely pissed out of our face, stayed there until the great big bonfire had burnt down hardly anything we were still there at three o'clock in the morning ended up standing around it and getting stoned <clears throat> and um so i thought in my head oh i'll get a load of cans taken with me get pissed you know this was like three years ago i thought oh just imagine it's gonna be well good i'll meet some of my old friends but then <laughs> went there they lit the fire we had a couple of cans I'd had some before, so I was slightly pissed. I did manage to see some friends I hadn't seen for ages, which was good. They did the fireworks, and then the whole thing just shut down and everyone left. And it was nine o'clock. <laughs> I was fucking gutted. I had to go back home pissed on my own. <laughs> that mean? Uh, well, get, oh, yeah. Harry Senior. Have you ever seen those tacky bulletproof masks from Chinese Army wear? No, I hate those. No, I've not seen them. Simon, anyone know the song by Kantan the Gang? Let's fuck about the fire. No, I never heard of that. Oh, Harry, I'll look up that bulletproof mask thing there. Hands on eyes and keep it real, being that Catherine. <laughs> I love that. I must have organised displays are fine, far away from everyone, well done. Just idiots in the garden, I don't like. My favourite cunt song is one about Jimmy Sullivan. I'll have to look them up as well. I've heard of them. Things not warrior. And they say the Irish are heavy drinkers. Oh, I definitely am, mate. Hey, gee, I remember they sat us all down at school and told us not to buy eggs, toilet paper and all that on bonfire night. We might get in trouble. A uh, bunch of fucking idiots telling us. Telling that to know the 16 year olds. Yeah, it's just giving you ideas, isn't it? They're idiotic when they do things like that. That's like when they used to tell us about all the drugs you um shouldn't should and shouldn't do and what they do to you. And all that did is it told us what ones we could do, what ones we you know, what ones were safe to do and what ones we shouldn't do. <clears throat> Didn't put us off anything. Tried most of them as they told us. Lady Potatoes, Harry Senior, China doesn't wear them, Taiwan SF does. That's striker. we used to buy bangers from the news agents. Yeah, that's what I mean, Jack. Yeah, we used to go to, um, like I said, old Mr. Patel's, who's been running that shop now for since I was five, so since 1985. Um, and he always used to have his displays at, at um, Bonfire Night, but now no one does that where I am. So fireworks are all over the place for sale where I am during early November. Yeah, you don't see them anywhere now, where I am. Imagine if you get caught short, try to buy some toilet paper, and they say no, as you might do something bad with it. <laughs> yeah, imagine. Or going up to buy some, um, get some eggs for your omelette, bastards won't sell you on. <laughs> Simon said, yeah, please look up Cunt and the Gang. They were hilarious. My favourite song is I Couldn't Really Help It. I was pissed out of my head. I'll, look, I'll put it on here, mate, and I'll look it up for next time. 
That's on the list. Which is me. Someone put a firework through my friend's door letterbox on my set the house on fire with them in it. Lucky they managed to stop the fire in time. Now, that's a very stupid thing to do. Very fucking dangerous. And it, you know. Unlucky, you know. Very seen your lady with yeah. And and the thing is, I bet the people who did it probably didn't even think that would happen. I don't know what they're like. They don't think, oh, if I do this, it could kill people. They just think, oh, if I do this, it would be a laugh, which makes it worse in a way. I see lady with yeah. I've seen it all over the YouTube, you know, top 10 super special elite <laughs> special ops. <laughs> Number seven, Tesco's will only let you buy the fireworks after you've done your shopping. They won't let you walk. About with them in your trolley, and it'd be funny to see a trolley flying past a daddy cat. <laughs> you imagine that? Have you meant to? Well, after I like the Nick Clegg one, go on, on well, then just this once. Use my arsehole as a cunt. <laughs> For <God's> sake, <laughs> that's a brilliant one. I'll, I'll look them up, definitely. Oh, yeah, a thing to get for the woods is an ammo belt. Like I got. Yeah, I, that's, I, I either want to get something like that, or I wouldn't mind getting a um, like a fishing vest thing with the pockets in. You know what I mean? The tactical vests are good, but they're a bit um tactical. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but I did get a fishing vest, but it was too bloody small. I sold it to Mark. Bush grab me, yeah, they stopped us buying eggs and toilet paper halfway through school. So we used to nick eggs from the allotments. Fair enough. Yeah, you know. Weird thing is, whenever I used to go trick or treating, it sounded weird. We never used to do loads of um tricks because we were too busy just trying to get the treats and money <laughs> to go and buy some drawer. NY Scout, you're right, mate? He said, hey, man, hope everything's going good for you. Just keep pursuing your hobby. You're doing nothing wrong. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's true, though. It's always looked on with, um, you know, frowned upon, but, you know, none of us are doing anything wrong. Hands on eyes on a battery and a firework were arrested. One was charged and one was let off. <laughs> New shot warrior, also good. Number so the Brothers Grimsby has a great scene for it. Oh, I've got to get that soon. I ain't got it yet. I'm going to write it down again in case I forgot. I you know, I live near Nick Clegg's old office in Shepherd. It's falling apart. <laughs> Number said, Brothers of Grimsby is hilarious. He's never asked <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm going to watch that soon. I do like his films. And what's going on? Yeah, no problem. Things could be doing any better for me. Um, but I'm trying to better my life. Yeah, well, keep at it, mate. Keep at it. Don't give up. You know what I mean? You know. I appreciate you watching as well, joining in. JT, go trick or treating around your dealers are sorry mate. God this is a grab. Just <laughs> grabbing. If I'm doing an outdoor activity like fishing and shooting a cat, I'll use a bum bag. My pockets are already full of EDC stuff. X would have to go somewhere else. Yeah. Uh I've never worn one of them. But yeah, I wouldn't mind a sort of tactical vest or a fishing vest. I do, if I go out and I need to carry stuff, I need to always carry it in this bag. And this is a genuine, and it's as old as the date, this bag. That is really that old. Yeah, 1995 World DMC DJ Convention Technics. That actually came from the DJ's house, because my dad works for him, Tony Prince. Some of you might know Tony Prince. And um, he just had hundreds of them that he didn't want. So I've got a load of them that was all brand new. 
but ah, oh, from 1995. But that's what I tend because I like a. I think why I like these bags. I like to carry it on my shoulder like that, and I can still you can still move around easily. You know what I mean, I find them the most comfortable bags for me. And stuff. I need to watch Annie G again as there's that scene with the bright camos, like the red and white trousers I have. Oh no. Yeah, and the older Sasha Baron Cohen stuff's good, isn't it? Think Shot Warrior. What's the best small game hunting in the UK? What's the best small game hunting in the UK? Not sure. I don't I don't quite know what you mean, mate. Um but you know, you can do you can shoot like pheasants with shotguns. You know, and like, you know, there's quite a few small game hunting you can do there. And what's that? Did you hear about the guy that got arrested in Scotland for teaching his dog the Nazis? Like, yeah, yeah, we've heard about that. He got a fine date under quid in the end, but he done a fundraiser. Yeah, Bush Grabbins mentioned it. He got eight hundred pound fine in the end, but isn't paying it. I think he's raised, yeah, he's raised two hundred thousand pound to go back to court to get it. Undone or whatever, I can't remember his, the um, you know, the proper phrase for it because it's a bad precedent for other people if that's let to happen, you know what I mean? Weapon of stuff, there are some really good old gas mask satchels you can get without the masks. Sometimes a few quid on eBay, like the M61 bag, Mark, very spacious and strong. <clears throat> Cool. Times video. I watched all the allergy in it recently. I used to have it on videotape. Harry seen you said that's some bullshit. Yeah. Uh, and also, yeah, why would they even do that shit? Now? I think it was just purely because it was um because it went viral. You know, they wanted to make an example of him. You know what I mean? If it didn't go viral and that, it never would have happened. JT, Singshot Warrior, I'd, I'd go, I'd say Grey Squirrels, mate, see, you could just go out into any wood and, and probably see them. Most of the time you won't need permission either. Yeah, but yeah, oh, yeah there, there's squirrels, there's rabbits. Um, the easiest things to find in this country would be squirrels, pigeons, rabbits probably. <laughs> I've eaten all of them. <laughs> Dumbbell South he's a pre he's appealing in Crown, but if he's still found guilty, he could end up in prison. Oh yeah. How much would you get for that? Wouldn't be a lot, would it though? It, you know, surely it'd be about a couple of weeks, wouldn't it? Social gaming is well no, I don't I don't know, mate. I don't know. Social gaming, all right. He said, is that a QBZ ninety five? No, it's not. It is a that's a Chinese model 86S bullpup rifle, which is basically a modified AK-47. But you're not the only one who's I've never known anyone to ever get that right. These are always good stuff. Um weapon stuff, yeah. Wood pigeon are a pest species and quite tasty. Yeah, I like a bit of wood pigeon, lovely. Yeah, that's a Chinese model 86S bullpup rifle. Yeah. One person guessed it right, but I think that was cheating. Wood pig, uh, NY Scout, we have a pet rabbit. We used to have a pet rabbit. Joe said, I know it's a bad, but we used to put a dog shit in a bag, like a fire and knock on it. I did a similar thing to that once, and the bloke went bloody mental. It was a, it was a dog turd in a box and knocked on his door and left it there. Most grappling, well, you do need permission, but squirrels are not native, so most people don't mind. Yeah. Simon said, can you eat city pigeons? I've been told to only eat wood pigeons because they're dieting. I wouldn't eat, um, I would not eat a city pigeon, no. Reference of police were mocked recently as they arrested someone for a tiny amount of weed, boasted online about it, then threatened people with arrest for laughing at them. People then mock them even more. Fuck's sake. Things like, well, do you have a dog? WP. I, um, no, we've not had a dog. When I was born, we had a dog. And the dog was one, or less than one when I was born. So I grew up with the dog pretty much the same age as me. You know what I mean? 
yeah, it was a puppy when I was born, so I grew up with a dog. But when that dog, we never had a dog since. I've not had a dog since like ninety nine, uh, yeah, nineteen ninety four, something like that. And it was a female Alsatian. Harry <laughs> Senior said, "Is that a model eighty six or more?" <laughs> right, I'm going to put you on the list of people who got it right, Harry. <laughs> I'll stick your name underneath there, saying Harry Senior a tick. <laughs> Even though I know you was watching. Bush crab and wood pigeons only became a pest if damaging crops and shitting somewhere. Under general license, most species have to be causing trouble before you shoot them. Katie, has anyone seen Balls of Steel? I think it was a TV show a bit before my time. But I've seen Neg's Urban Sports clip pop up on Facebook. It looks proper funny. Yeah, I've seen that. Tell you what, though, if he did that to me... Well, he won't be fucking walking away, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Pinch up warrior. A dog is a good thing to have. Oh, definitely, mate. Good companion. Good, um, you know, they, they know things. You know what I mean? Your guard dogs, you know. Dogs are very, uh, you know, they are man's best friend, definitely. They do the only grey squirrel of them, I mean, I'm sure our native reds are now protected. Yeah, I think so, mate. Which crap and all I remember him when Balls of Steel was on the telly. Um, Tom said, yeah, Ned Zerm's what's hilarious. He has a YouTube channel that's not doing well. Uh, well, Harry, uh, no, NY Scout, it's Type 86. I don't think it's called a it's called model. Well, in this book, where I bought it from, I'll read you out the exact title of it, that book, that gun. But yeah, most people call it um, Type 86, but the full name, let me find it, it's in one of these, I'll read you out the full name. Full name is Chinese Model 86S Bullpup Rifle. Well, Chinese 7.62 millimeter model 86S bullpup rifle. Just there. That's the only reason I call it that. That's what it's called in the book. That meme. Harry said, Oh, yeah, I remember that. Bush crapping. Oh, yeah. Big trouble for shooting reds. You have to have live traps in areas where they have reds and greys so you can let the reds go. Home said, Next burger bowl. Bowl off is my favourite. I've not seen too many of them. I only the one if it's in where he's jumping on people's backs, <laughs> riding them. <clears throat> Bumble Sabu. Yeah, they call pigeons winged rats. Pigeons crap can cause death if inhaled or it gets under your skin. Katie, Simon, knock and don't run. I like it. <laughs> I said, yeah. What are you knocking on my door for? Uh, what was I? Things that were, have you ever heard of Ray Fowler? He's good with a slingshot and good at sliding. No, I've never heard of him, mate. I'll look him up if you want. Um. I'm in here, Ned's burger bowl off his way. He's driving around chucking McDonald's at people from a sunroof. Ned's do jumbles a bit like the French, then. <laughs> what if they get under your skin to kill you? <laughs> right, I'll have a look at that then. Ray Fowler, mate. <clears throat> Everyone been liking the stream. Get your thumbs up on it, it'll get you a uh, get more people viewing. Most we've had on at the same time is 30 today. I think the record was 33. I expect to at least see 33 likes then, and I doubt it. <laughs> uh, 
how he does that wall spin around and the police come over i wish it did mate i wish it did yeah spin it around nah well luckily well not luckily but you know it's it's all legal anyway you know what i mean i actually had the police around my house on uh november 2017 <clears throat> and they, was all, they had a good look then you know oh yeah Good, really, because, you know, at least I know that they know. <laughs> Don't tell me. No. Yeah. Tom said, was looking at some MREs recently. Do you have any? Some are bloody expensive. I've had a couple of different kinds over the years. My problem is, though, I always get curious about them, open them up and eat the fucking things every single time. So I've found it's better to, for me to just make them you know i mean make my own um ration packs because i always eat the mres because i'm too curious about what's in them and how they work one said and uh, no, i read that and what's going well that's funny next burger bowl uk survivor i remember when i was at school teacher spoke about seagulls now they were bad she referred to them as rats and things after that someone reported her and she had to write an apology letter <laughs> <laughs> Makes you laugh, doesn't it? Things that happen. Who to the seagulls? <laughs> Who's into um flashlights? Who likes their flashlights? I've got the O light MR2 M2R the other day. I need to do a review on it. Tell you what's good about this. If you're into your flashlights, this will do an instant strobe from off. Yeah. So if you want a instant strobe with the button at the front, rechargeable battery, it's even got a magnetic charger. That's the way to go. I don't know the price of it at the minute, and I haven't reviewed it yet, but I'll tell you, that is a fucking good torch. But the fact that it does that, though, strobe straight from off, you know, you have to press, you press that three times, strobe. Well, I won't do that again then. <laughs> Things that were a physical fitness is very important factor to survival situation. I'll work out on my bike long distance. Yeah, that's true. Remember stuff, the charger on that one is really cool as well. Yeah. The magnetic straight on the bottom. I should well that fucked the stream up pretty hard. I won't do that again then. What it does, it makes the old pitch go weird, does it? Yeah, bloody brilliant like this is. But that at the bottom is where it charges, and it's also a button. Comes with a battery and everything. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I need to do a review on it. Anyway, I out, lol, I'm not in the best shape, but I can work on it. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm not that healthy, don't you know I mean, or fit. But, um, you know, I just don't wait. If anything comes, I can uh, get fit. I'm trying to get fit now. I am trying to do a lot more exercising than that, you know. In your case, over how much it costs, mate. Well, I don't know yet, because I ain't done the review or looked into it. It may be about 70 quid, but it's... Got multiple modes. That instant strobe comes with a 18650 um, 3500 milliamp 18650 pouch, charger, USB charger. But I don't know about that price. I may be wrong. I do prefer that. That's neat. So you can still turn on from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that is the, the two elements for the charge of it. It's also a button. Yeah. Yeah, so you can do it at the back if you want, like that. But you can do it there as well. I need to look more into it because it's got quite a lot of features. I've seen you. I'm a lifter, but my cardio is for shit. I ain't done any weights for years. I used to all the time, you know, every day. But, um, no, at least five days a week anyway. But um I don't know, I'm too lazy for it now. 
Thanks, at Warrior. Did any of you know what happened to the boy? Did anyone hear what happened to the boy shot to America? No, I don't know, mate. And was like, yeah, with a Mormon chat in the girls' dining room. <laughs> and then he rob. Still like the old maglots last night. Yeah, I've got two maglots that I modified. But they're they're really good now. JT, do you think so, or was it when you were making them? Except girls now. And I yeah. make it people scouts. Yeah, exactly. And so, Taking a fast walk with a weight vest on is good for cardio and muscles. So it was so true. And what's going on? I used to be in the Boy Scouts. Never in Scouts or anything. I think I went to like one, like went with one of my mates once, same as cadets. I went down like a couple of times just to, because I was hanging around with my mate and he was going to cadets. So I went with him. Only potatoes, I mean, I understand why girls join the Boy Scouts in the end. The Girl Scouts is apparently crap. Dating. It's the new name, Boy Scouts for boys, like they aren't never heard of Girl Scouts. Well, why don't they just leave it at the Boy Scouts and just have the girls in it as well, if no one cares? That you know what I mean? That's how I see it, you know. That you know I mean? I've seen your places. Is that your tactical vest, sir? <laughs> this is my tactical short sleeve shirt. I've got a pocket just there. Uh, from the tactical torch. <laughs> All right. Might take the I can remember how to do it easily. I'm gonna take the Slow mode off. Is that off? Richard Smith cross training was good for cardio, no impact on the knees, meaning less injury. Yeah, if I can't, I've got like a really crap little exercise bike. Um, so if I can't get out for a walk, it means I can at least do like half an hour on that. You know, it's something. Exercise really on a scout. Remember, my scout leader also said, one up the bum, no harm done. Or was it one on the bottom? He's worth two on top. I'd say. UK survivor used to go to cadets, good fun. Yeah, I used to quite enjoy it. Like, I only went a couple of times, but yeah, it looked quite good. One of the times we went and messed around with the um, the SA-80s or whatever. You know, it ain't an SA-80, whatever it is. But you know what I mean? It looked like an SA-80. You know, it might have been. You know what I mean? And I said, ah, oh, I have no idea what to talk about. Ah, oh, someone will bring someone up, mate. Someone will say, oh, yeah. It says it's off, mate. What, the slow mode? Yeah, it's, you know, I know it's just the... The um, comments are quite slow tonight. How many people are actually in the thing? Hang on. Got 11 actually in at the minute. Like commenting, I think. JT never did go to cadets, but chucked out scouts for fighting. Good times. Yeah, I never joined up. I think I went to like scouts once or twice with my friend. Never joined up. Went to cadets with my mate just to go, but it wasn't to join up. It just because he was going and I wanted to still hang around with him for the day. So they said I could. Apparently, in your cardio is for people who run away. <laughs> NY Scout, well, I got kicked out of school twice. Tell you what, I couldn't get kicked out of school. I, it was the strangest thing. We used to do stuff that would get anyone else expelled, me and Matt, and we wouldn't. But I sometimes wonder if it was because they they thought that's what we wanted, so they wouldn't. You know, no one was allowed to go to school wearing Doc Martin boots or have their head shaved. But me and Malcolm was allowed to go to school with our head shaved and wearing Doc Martin boots. You know, if someone else did it, they'd get suspended. Me and Matt wouldn't. 
bizarre. Couldn't get kicked out even if I wanted to, even if I tried. At school. Simon, have you got Netflix? There's a good series called Happy. No, I ain't got Netflix, mate. I might still be able to get it, though. I'll check that out. <clears throat> to do SA80, is that the one that didn't work? Yeah, I think so. L85A1, yeah. Um... When was on, yeah, SA8 is the small arms 80 series. I had a lot. Of, they had a lot of problems with the L85A1. Replaced the foul. The, L, the L85A2 was meant to be okay though. The AD protectors, yeah, the A2 is fine as they got HK to fix it. New crystallizer, yeah. They used to use the L9881 GP cadet rifle. Never got to use it though. They used the L9882 only left recently. Yeah, you know, all I know is his gun looked like an SA-80, so that's the easiest way for me to describe it. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're moving on to the A3 now. Still a pig of a gun, though. A2, that's just school, mate. There is no... If they know your kick-off house, why does they let you wear what you want? Yeah. I really enjoyed school. I know some people hate it. You know, or hated it, but I, I had a good time in school. It was a foul, proper gun, man stopper, and often two behind you. <coughs> you just kept the foul L1A1 SLR by the arm of the free bar. I should just arm the whole British Army with AWPs. Philip Brooks, you're right, mate. That's another new person on. Bjorn, you're right. I'm just going to do a translation of your um, comment. Can't do it. Bjorn, where do you come from anyway? Hello, Bjorn. Actually, Judy, really weapons I have. Here the Brits are reverting back to larger rounds. Philip Brooks, may you want to? Maybe you can review Filipino weapons. Ever experienced a shootout? I've never experienced a shootout. I have been shot at by an air rifle before. So that was like a malicious thing. Someone was actually trying to shoot me with it. You know what I mean? But um, no, never. You don't really experience shootouts over here. But I could um yeah I could look into Filipino weapons if you want. Remember so but all we had at Cadets was a D at three oh three D Enfield. The Enfield's and the Bren gun. Oh nice. You know I like the old Bren gun, don't you? Alright. Where was I? Number, uh, you should just go back to longbows, yeah? Jumbles, yeah. Best bolt action I've never made, yes, L. S M L E. That's Nelly. I pulled my back trying to do a pull up, now it kind of hurts. That's how you know I know I'm out of shape. <laughs> well, I've done that drawing the curtains once. Like, pulled me back, it but two fucking weeks. Philip Brooks, I've been watching your vids for a long time. Oh, nice. I'm glad you're still here, mate. Drew was in the Sea Cadets and got a got to go uh, got to have a go on a stand. Brilliant, it was years ago. That sounds good, mate. It is lawful to carry long bro. <laughs> yeah, and can't you shoot a Welshman on a Tuesday at twelve o'clock or something? <laughs> That's some weird. I don't know how true that weird thing is. I know it ain't that, but you know what I mean? On a certain day, at a certain time, possibly in a certain place. You heard that? A 
and it's legal to do it. You know, I don't. I think it bollocks, but. Everyone doing tomorrow. How oh, should I think a Scotsman in New in York? I asked it, yeah, something like that, isn't it? You know what I'll be doing tomorrow? More might have to get rid of a load of um bottles. I've got a load of you know the I don't know if you've ever seen them in our um Wendy ass thing we call it. Might have to get rid of all them bottles soon. Be a shame, but um Probably all I'll be doing tomorrow. Crap like that. That was if every Englishman's entitled to a castle. That was really, I'm not sure about the task, but I'd shoot a frog any day of the week. <laughs> Once I film some more videos, go on a decent walk, the start of the week exercise, play some more mountain blade. I'll watch that, and that annoyed me that I didn't get that in that. Um, notification for that and nearly all of that day's videos right it pissed me off all of that day's videos i didn't get the they weren't in my subscriptions till about 11 o'clock at night so i literally hadn't i didn't know jack striker had uploaded two videos i didn't know you'd done your live stream philip brooks do you have an ar-15 no i don't mate the only thing i've got anything like that is the Chinese Model 86S. And I'll scout. Hey, buddy, got to go. Have a good night. I'll share a good. Uh, cheers, mate. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Good night. It was really. It's still law that every boy of six should have a bow and six arrows. That's one thing I got today. I got 24 more pistol bolts. Day two, when, when life gives you bottles, snake petrol bombs. Okay, so I was going to the local pub with my family for lunch. Yeah, have a good time then, mate. It sounds all right. I haven't done that, like, have lunch at a pub since I was a kid. You know, like a proper pub. I'm playing it right now while watching your stream. Played 30 hours in the last few days. How nice. Well, that's what I'm hoping. I'm, I hope I enjoy these like that. I think the most I've ever played a game was 235 hours, you know, altogether. Harry Senior Mountain Blade. Hang on. Harry Senior Mountain Blade is hard a fuck of the first 10 hours. Piss easy after the next 100 unless you lose all your Swadian Knights. And all that no problem. Pretty Smith. I think the Crown legally has to supply men of 24 hours by 24 hours by law. <sighs> HI positive transgender. Using the most recent metrics, do you reckon there is a shift towards the gun policy of one for all or 17 virgin amphibians? Probably the 17 virgin amphibians, I reckon. <laughs> it's not THX, is it? It'll change name and change picture. Philip Bricks always carry a concealed carry gun. Don't you agree? Oh, if you could legally, if I lived in America and you and it was a place where you legally can, then um, yeah, you know it's different over there, different over here. McManc, right? Said, so do you smoke? Draw? I don't now because it makes me too paranoid. But I used to. Yeah, I used to as a teenager, but I can't now. If I touch it, instant paranoia. Fucking stuff. I'm doing the Mongol Horde guys beating up all the Red Sea Raiders at the moment for money. JT, every time you say nice, I take a shot. I'm currently getting my stomach pumped. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fine, I don't want to piss on it in case you do like it, but LA Noir is not as good as I expected. A lot of walking and checking items. No, I, I don't mind that. I, I sort of did expect that, though. Yeah. No, that's, I did expect it to be that kind of game. You know, it all depends what kind of mood you're in. At the minute, that's why I bought both of them. I assumed both of them are probably like that. 
that thing. Uh, yeah. But no, that's cool, mate. Um, yeah, just... You know, I, I don't know which one I'll try first. I have to have a think. Don't know. I'll decide tomorrow. I haven't played a new game for a while. You know, like, um, you know I've been replaying games recently. It's more of an adventure game. It's a shame as it could have been brilliant. Not bad game, though, but missed opportunity. Mate, have you played Fortnite? No, I'm still on her old PS3, so. I've seen you said Alan Page gets on my tits. I did think that said Alan Page gets out her tits at first. Which I, uh, I think I've seen her, um, I think her shy scene in it or something. Um, Simon said, yeah, not bad game. I enjoyed it. It's just a bit repetitive and underwhelming. Ah, that's all right. Isn't it? You know, maybe to tell her to get them off then. <laughs> I'll tell her to get off them. Then. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that action anyway. But um, yeah, I'll have a little think. Yeah, that's probably all I'll do. Apart from the crap I said, I will probably try and watch Hellraiser 5 sometime in the evening and uh, play that in the day when I'm not doing the other stuff. Then anyway, Rob said, good night, all the stream. Look forward to next time. Uh, thanks for joining, mate. See you in the uh, see you in the next one next weekend. Colonel Mustard, I'm listening while doing a first. Cheers for letting us know, mate. <laughs> I seen you. You can, you can get me off. You can, you can get me off if she likes, though. <laughs> I don't think she likes men, does she? Oh, Alan Page. Philip Brooks, do you have a forty-five caliber? Ah, uh, that would be forty-five caliber. HIV positive transit said you passed with flying colours too, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, got to be there, my amphibians. Seventeen version amphibians, that was it. No, oh, your revision ain't finished, I see. I've got the yeah, telly's been on the whole time and never turned it off. And if that will make my face slightly darker and turn it off. That make a difference to anything. No, I don't think it did, did it? I'll just turn it back on. Gives me something to look at. <laughs> <clears throat> I might do an experiment later on in the week if I get bored. I may take this camera out. I'm gonna have to clean. Nah, I didn't think it, it didn't make no difference, did it? I didn't know if the light from it might have been. You know what I mean? Um, what was I saying? Uh, I might take this camera. I've got, I've got to clean up my shed. Give it a good old clean because it's loads of crap everywhere at the minute. I'm gonna give the shed a really good clean up. And that'll give me a space on the work workshop to um put a laptop there and try this camera and see if I could do a live stream from the shed making something. I mean UK size of what TV you got, mate. I tell you what, I've got an old um what's them old style telly? CTR. I've got like a 28 inch CTR telly, shed telly, Panasonic. <laughs> Can't afford a new telly, but while that works, yeah, I'll tell you what, it's just Quintrix Panasonic, Panasonic Quintrix CTR TV, you know, the old big ones. Colonel Mustard, what, what in your whole collection do you use the most? 
probably the crossbows definitely yeah definitely crossbows they're not g they're turning fucking frogs gay <laughs> i've never seen that but i've heard the reference that striker do you have a water bottle for your belt mike i'm just looking into getting one for my watch only no um i i have got one but i don't tend to use it yet i tend to use tend to just use them in the bottom of this bag if i'm honest with you I don't know if you, when I showed you that, did you see the bag earlier? I, I use these old record bags and I find them really comfortable. Just one pocket, good strap, and I just tend to have that in the bottom of it, if I'm honest. Don't like too much on a belt because it feels like it's like pulling my trousers down, you know, or pulling on my waist. Andy Tate said that would be neat. Yeah, I think it'd, it'd be, I'm going to test it. It's the only thing is because the computer's a Vista, an old Vista computer. I don't know whether this camera would work on it, but I'll try it. And if it does, I'll do it. Simon said CRT. That's it. You know what I meant, didn't you? Lady Potato CRT. I used to love sticking face against them and turning them on. <laughs> But I'd suggest having a blowpipe on the chain. You know what? Blowpipes are um, illegal to buy in this country and probably make. Very, very bizarre. Yeah, blowpipes. Harry Senior said no need to get overly tactical. Yeah, that's what I have. One of them. And a, an old 1995 Technic bag. It is actually that old. They, said they are that old, but they're new as well, sort of thing. Like they've never been used. Yeah, cathode cathode ray tube, isn't it? Oh, did some? No, I was going to say, did someone say what have I got on the telly? But they didn't. That strike said that's almost in man bag territory. Like. <coughs> I know it sort of is, isn't it? But I just, I've always, for some reason, found that I find that more comfortable than two straps on my back for some reason. But yeah, no, I know it's very, very close to a man bag, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, the old record bags, I just find it more comfortable going across my thing like that and then hanging on my side. <coughs> it's easier to get on and off as well. But yeah, definitely nearly a man bag territory. <laughs> Simon said, "Yeah, why is there static on the screen of CRTs? I mean, on the glass, not the picture." Don't know, weird, isn't it? Kind of mustard. Yeah, blowpipes are illegal in the UK. Bush Pepper. I made blowpipes, and you can buy cold steel ones. I think it's illegal, but slipping under the radar. Yeah, I bet most people couldn't care sort of less about it. You know, like you know, or would even know that it was illegal, sort of thing. Lady potatoes because they have electron guns in them. Well, that means tellies have got to be banned then if they've got guns in. You need a license for your telly. Well, you do need a license for your telly. Maybe that's why you need a TV license then, because of the guns inside them. <laughs> that was Mr. Hoplophobia coming out for a second there. I have to go and get my glasses and my suit on. I said, I remember you can attract paper to a CRT TV because of the static field. Yeah. Well, I mustard. You could use the McDonald's straw as a blowpipe. Yeah, no, exactly. I ain't saying your blowpipes are illegal. Yeah, that's easy to enforce. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it, mate? Lady Potatoes, see? A new TV license conspiracy. Yeah, we just figured it out, haven't we, Lady Potatoes? I hadn't realised that's what it is. Yes, yeah, the gun inside the TV. You need a TV license for. Don't <laughs> make sense why you need a TV license. Bush graphing, average plod doesn't have a clue what's illegal and what's not. No, that's true. That's definitely true, mate. Bush graphing, I'd like to try hunting with them. I mean, people take up big game with them. Oh, fucking hell. I do like watching some of the more unusual kind of hunting methods. You know, it can be quite. Like bizarre almost, do you know what I mean? 
just looking up at the telly. In United Kingdom have got no points like usual. <laughs> Jack Stryker, the police re recruit any old retard these days. There is some right freaks in uniform. I'm quite lucky. I never have to see any, really, unless, well, apart from when I get my every five years visits. But other than that, I never ever have to um, have any encounters with them. I probably get it worse than everyone, though. I don't see them in the street. The bastards come around the house for no fucking reason. <laughs> Simon said there's a video of Bear Grylls hunting a rabbit with a stick. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's great. Uh, weapon of stuff. Ever watch Sharp Mike? I think you'd like that. No, I want to, though. I think we spoke about it on your stream, didn't we? Or was it this one? But no, I do want to watch them. But I like Sean Bean as well. But yeah, no, I've, um, I haven't watched them, but I want to. I'll have to see if I can get them. Lady potatoes, lots of great guys in uniform. Yeah, no, that's true. Though, yeah, just a few seem to mess it up for everyone. Yeah, no, I'll be honest with you. There are plenty of police now who are all right. Do you know what I mean? You know, but um, you know, they're like with everything. There's also total tracks, as you know. Uh, Philip Brook, hey, is it true Muslim immigrants? Makes trouble in England. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you know. Bush Crackman said, Police once tried recruiting me while I was at the custody desk. <laughs> That's right. I don't get that, luckily. I've never had that. I'm talking yeah, Sharp and Hornblower, both excellent. What Hornblower has the terror got me into Age of Sale stuff? But yeah, I'll tell you what, since I've watched the terror, I've wanted to watch similar stuff. I've really, really, really enjoyed the terror. That's probably one of the best one-off TV series, mini-series, I've watched for absolutely years. Very seeing you said you need to have a degree to get in the police now. That's right. I have high-ranking family members, no common sense whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, no, master slingshots, catapults are more deadly than blowpipes than most other weapons. I know. I, I can't. I, who would ever? Who's ever robbed a bank with a blowpipe or killed someone with a blowpipe? Just graphing it was my first time. The only thing I've ever known anything like what you said was I have known people to have been arrested, and then while in the interview, be offered money by CID to grasp people up, and they've told them to fuck off. You know, no. Abdul Samad, show us your weapons. There they are. They're there. They're all on show, mate. You have a look. They're just there. They're for you. They're all there for you. <laughs> They're all on display. They're for you to see. JT, you know what to watch a film called Meh. I don't know if it's out. Yeah, but it's like Jaws. Oh, yeah, not Meh. Meg. Yeah, the Meg, isn't it? Yeah, and it's the Megalodon. Yeah. Yeah, the Meg. Not Meh. I thought that was a bit weird, Meh. Um, yeah, the Meg that looks quite good. I thought Have I got Jason Statham in or someone like that. Lady Protector says Sharknado, Dead Not Z. If you like Sharp and Hornblower, Master and Commander is good. Yeah, I'll check them out as well, then, mate. Stuart said, What's carry a bog roll with you? You never know when a dodgy dude is doing a shit in the bushes and he runs away. I'm going to show you something. This is my uh woods bag. Yeah, I don't want to. I hope I don't see that fucker again. Bog oh, growl, just in case. You never know. I could give it him before he has to run out the bushes. I nearly whacked him on the head of a mag light as well when that happened. If you don't know, I accidentally caught some jogger having a shit in a bush once while I was going up to my um, camp in the woods. <laughs> he jumped out the bushes. Lady Potatoes, all oh, that movie. Kind of mustard, not all on display, I bet. Oh no, I've got more. Yeah, Tom said, Mega Jason stay for a minute. Ryan V, watch cult film if if you can. Yeah, it's that got Michael McDowell in it. If it has, I've seen that. 
Diamond said, shut up, Mac. <laughs> yeah, family guy. Weapons of Master of Commander is an excellent film. Lesser of two weevils. <laughs> I'll check that out, mate. Which weapon? I love Master of Commander. Has that got um, Russell Crowe in it? But yeah, bloody... I'll tell you, the terror are fucking brilliant. I loved it. Um, very senior. Lots of smoke in a battle. Jack Stryker. <clears throat> that DI family member is terrified of my 70 nights. It clams up when he sees it. And clams up when he sees it. <laughs> so. You can just see the handle of my um, sword. I would put the camera ever so slightly higher, but if I do, if I point it up more, you can't quite see me. If anyone wants some news on the uh, Eurovision, every single country has points now apart from us. <laughs> Unless we're the last one to be scored or something. Very senior. More than twice our number, more than twice our guns. That from Master and Commander. I know no one's interested in your vision, but I just thought I'd mention it as a laugh. I mean, typical old bollocks that we'd get no points. I don't know why we bother. It's so political now. Yeah, I do want to watch um, Sharp. I need to watch The Bounty again. I haven't seen that in years. I've never seen that. Which graphic you should always pick the lesser of two weevils what is that I don't know what it is Captain Aubrey's terrible joke oh no, it's got Russell Crowe in it I'll have to look that up have you seen Black Sails mate oh, JT. no I've not seen that either I've not seen a lot of those types of films but after watching um terror it's got me interested in that kind of stuff best sharp series not sure i haven't seen any yeah black serves a brilliant series Tom said can you pick locks yeah i can i'm not like that good at picking locks but i have got lock picks and i can pick locks yeah yeah but i'm not like no bloke you know i'm not really good at it That's crap, and it's off Master and Commander Law. Funny, as not I looked up in the end. I just had a quick look because I didn't know whether that was spelling mistakes. I mean, you know when you can't... Well, obviously, you can't tell half the time. But I looked it up, and it said, that oh, mate, he's a terrible joke. Then we'll say, Bruce said, stop, you're giving me the monkey you're talking about bounties. <laughs> right, okay, what one do you like? The old dark chocolate one or the normal one? I always like the old um, dark chocolate one. JT said that French bird. <clears throat> yeah, never seen it. I'll have to check it out one day. How many have we got on now? Yeah, a lot of you lot must be watching these whole streams now. I noticed this entire stream, some of you must be watching for the whole time, has had 62 hours of view time. It's fucking good. I really like the last bit of Series 2 of Black Sails when they broadside those evil bastards of the Man of War. I'm sorry, I remember when Bounties had a bit of a black cardboard in the packet. Yeah, I think I remember that. That just sort of ring a bell. I said 27 views, 29 likes. Not bad. Ah, good. That's good. Yeah, at total then, there's there was 30 altogether, so that means only one didn't like it. <laughs> Maybe one of them's me. I don't know. 80 potatoes, 33 likes on my screen, but I haven't refreshed. Oh, nice. That's good. It all helps, It all because what it does is the more likes and the more view hours, 
it means my videos will get shared more and then people will get you'll probably get notified more hopefully other people will see more stuff you know what i mean it's all good it's all good you know it all helps and also with Anne Smarties, they had a letter from the alphabet on the on the bottom of the cap. I can't remember that one, mate. I've seen you the best one, probably Shark Battle, but personally I like Shark Waterloo. Simon said 24 views, 33 likes. So that's good. Yeah, and we had 33 concurrent watching at one time on the stream, so that was all right. So, yeah, that means, yeah, that means more than not of um, liked it then. That's good. Bella Mustard, use Terrarium TV to stream any film TV program you want. Nice, oh, good to know. Tom said, if you have got one sad sod this time, that one dislike. Yeah, I know it's the other one, some bastard disliked it. It's very bizarre. You know, in fact, I don't really even care, but it's just weird how someone will go out of their time to watch a video and dislike it. I don't know. I don't understand the mentality. Some of the stuff. Sharp's Gold was written by Nigel Neal, hence why the plot ends with him. Ends up being about human sacrifice. I don't see any the way YouTube's going, mate. There won't be uh, buried channels like yours. Many channels, yeah. I know, it looks like they're trying to get rid of us. I'll never go, you know, like, if they get rid of me, I'll just do a different channel. I've got a backup channel. Um, You know, I'll never stop doing videos anyway, if I had to go on to BitChute or something like that. I've already got a BitChute account that I upload. Every single YouTube video I upload now goes on to BitChute and Top Buzz and sometimes Tumblr, but not so much. But every single video I do goes on to Top Buzz and BitChute as well. And, you know, if this ever does go down, I'll have established channels anyway on other on other platforms, luckily. Yeah, I've got Top BitChute goes on every single time. Daily Motion occasionally, because it's more of a pain in the ass to do. Top Buzz every single time. Tumblr, Tumblr occasionally. And then I suppose every single video is also on Twitter, but that's not really a place to watch videos, is it? <laughs> yeah. So I'll always be here. First graph and bloody hell, it takes long enough to upload to youtube with that all the others yeah i know well luckily i tell you what bitshoot has this thing that if i upload a youtube video it automatically upload that uploads that video to um bitshoot without me doing anything and that is fucking brilliant and then um top buzz all i have to do is cut the cut and paste the link put it on and it cut and it copies all of the um information as well but yeah, that's why I don't always upload to Daily Motion or Tumblr because they do take ages. They take ages like doing YouTube videos. You know what I mean? But yeah, BitChute and Top Buzz, it's really easy to do them. Well, it's a BitChute, I don't have to do anything. It's automatic. But yeah, Daily Motion and Tumblr, they're there. I don't do them so often for the exact reason you just mentioned. You know what I mean? Yeah, BitChute. BitChute. I, this isn't a thing that bothers me, but you can't make money on BitChute anyway. But I just, it's nice to have a backup channel. You know what I mean? Top Buzz, though, you can make a bit of money. Uh, not, a, you know, same as everything, not a lot. But, well, because I suppose my Top Buzz channel is like just being established anyway. It's got like 47 followers. You know what I mean? If I had like 25,000 followers, it might make a decent bit of money. But, Jamie Smith, you're right, mate. And you say UK legal knives, you can only have one, but what would you choose? Um, I'll show you exactly. Oh, that'd be hard for me to decide, though. Keep all my legal carry knives in one place. I had to pick, it would probably be from one of these four. 
So you've got standard Swiss Army pen knife. Yeah, decent. Uh, this little San Renmu. That's quite nice. Got a couple of features. It's got a bottle opener, screwdriver, a gutting, you know, sharpened hook and a Phillips screwdriver and a glass breaker. That's all right. Um, this Harry Tex Outdoors one, the, the bastard halibut knife that has the hidden lock where you can take the anarchy out and put it in that. And then this is another San Renmu that was a bigger knife, but I cut the blade down to legal carry size. It'd be between them four and it'd be very hard for me to choose. Um, don't know. I do like these bigger ones with the bigger blades. You know what I mean? Because I've all liked the Swiss Army pen knife. Blade's bloody tiny, really, isn't it? I think it would possibly be that. That one. That's got a couple of extra things on it as well. Glass breaker. Yeah, probably be that. I don't know the name of it, though. That is the San Renmu 9052MUC slash GH slash T4. There's a video on it on my channel. If you look up, go on my channel, look up UK Legal K Knives, and you'll see every single knife I just mentioned on the video. Richard Smith, it took me half an hour just to upload three minutes of footage. It can be a pain in the ass, you know, especially if you um, if you don't do it very often. It can be difficult. You know what I mean? I've seen your channels, like yours built YouTube, and they're at bre they're at bread and butter. But all they do is piss all of piss all over them. Yeah, that's definitely true, mate. You know, it's sad, isn't it? And you're right. We did, you know. These channels did make YouTube. You know what I mean? You know, and they don't give a crap about us. You know, now they've now they're fully established. They'll get rid of us and make it all safe for work, don't they? Or whatever. You know what I mean? Simon said, honestly, the Swiss Army knife would be good for urban survival. You don't need a big beefy thing. No, I was just thinking if I couldn't ever pick, you know, if I had to have, if I couldn't ever have any other, because I like different ones for different things. Like you said, the Swiss Army knife is great for the urban environment, but then I like something slightly bigger for woods or something or, you know, garden stuff. But you can't beat the Swiss Army knives. They are great. Jamie said, uh, that Haytex Outdoors one looks good. I have a Lansky Madrock, but everyone says it's too scary to use. Yeah, that's the problem. Some of them look a bit too threatening, don't they? That's why that's why you can't beat the Swiss Army pen knife for universally. Like, everyone, as soon as someone sees that, they think, yeah, that's legal. Doesn't look threatening. You know what I mean? But these bigger ones, they do look a bit threatening. You know what I mean? I love YouTube years ago when it was less about money and more about cool content. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're like me. You've been on for quite a while, ain't you? I remember the good old days of YouTube. I just love it. Very different now. And as soon as they changed that algorithm thing, it made everything more difficult, you know. Bush scrap, and I recently got a sack. I realised I didn't have any legal cane knives. Well, I, I probably only had one or two until I deliberately started getting them. Object history, you're right, mate. Good to see you on. He said, hey, buddy, guess what I'm doing? Signing copies of my weapon book. Ah, oh, nice. Gonna send one your way. I'll ping you later. Ah, oh, nice. I'd, I'd love that, mate. Thank you. I oh, can't wait to see it, to be honest. You know what I mean? We've just done about uh, legal carry knives over here. What we'd pick if you had to, um, you could only pick one. Yeah, this one, though, is a copy of um, some kind of CRKT that's been discontinued. Richard Smith, most popular channels are now mostly clickbait videos and misleading thumbnails. Yeah. Have any, how much of, do any of you not watch Object History's um, channel? If you like, well, 
the history of weapons and stuff, you will find him very interesting. Check him out, object history. Bushcraft and YouTube was meant to be about letting anyone upload what they wanted, but when advertising became a thing, it had to be censored. Yeah, that's true. I remember when I joined YouTube, it was quite strange. Not well, it's hard to explain, but um, when I joined it, I remember thinking, uh, I thought it had been on for years when I joined it. It turned out it hadn't been, it was quite new when I joined originally. Very senior, could you do a knife sharpening guide? I never get it right. I'll, I'll give it a go, mate. Object history said, wow, thanks, man. I, I think you should have a lot more subscribers, mate. You've got a very good channel. I like all your videos. Yeah, check out object history. Bush Graffin, I'm sub to object history. I was one of his first subs. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a good channel, isn't it? Someone said, if shit hit the fan, what would you grab besides bug out bag and family? Uh, oh, Liam, you definitely like object history. Um, well, bug out bag, air rifles, some food. The good thing is we've got some lorries, so I'd pile a lot of stuff in the back of them. We've got crew cab lorries, two of them. So the whole family could fit in one. Well, we could get two families in them easily. And then all of the back, you know, if that's the way you was going, you could fill the back up with wood and tools for making shelters if you had to, you know. A lot we'd we'd be able to do quite a few carry quite a lot of stuff with us, you know what I mean? I've seen your sub bush graph with loads of old old school saps and battens and stuff. Yeah, great channel. Yeah, the proper hit proper history on things, you know. That's what I like. A lot of proper decent information. Lady Potatoes also subbed. Oh, that's good. He's one of those channels I watch it and I think he should have a lot more subs than he's got. You know what I mean? One of them things you don't when nowadays because youtube is so big and so many um channels it is hard to find stuff now you know especially when you're starting off because i noticed <clears throat> youtube is designed now to promote the algorithm is is designed to promote the bigger channels and the smaller ones struggle nowadays where in the old days no matter who you were if you put a video on and people liked it it would get shared to the same amount of people. Now it's different. If you have a small channel and you've got a good video, it will only be shared to a small amount of people. If you have a big channel and it's popular, that, that video will be shared to loads of people. You know, It's very hard now to get lots of subscribers and lots of views. Lady Potatoes, yeah. Took a quick look at the basket hilt sword. It seems well put together. I'll take a proper look tomorrow. Yeah, he's got some very interesting stuff on there. Have you seen? It doesn't matter how many supplies you have if you've got, you're not armed with, or just buying stuff for the biggest guy on the block. Yeah. Oh, well, I would obviously, you know, shit hit the fan, crossbows and all that, and, you know, <clears throat> what was it, 20 past 11? Beyond till half past, maybe a little bit later, because I got a feeling I keep hearing people shouting about because of the um, bloody Eurovision Sun contest. They must be watching it downstairs, so I could at least stay on till that ends, possibly eleven thirty. So I know uh, I'll only be on for five minutes longer anyway. Well, until in the old days, it was free for all. I don't get notified when you go live, but every time ING upload a shit video, it blows up my phone. Yeah, well, I I had a bloody notification earlier for a channel I don't even subscribe to. That actually annoyed me, because I thought, I don't get any notifications when people I do subscribe. Now I'm getting notification for a channel I don't, I've never even watched their videos. 
I assume you said who is also me. Oh, the biggest guy on the block. <laughs> well, it's crafting anyway, guys. See you next time. Now, cheers for joining in, mate. Appreciate it. See ya. Well, in the week, if I do one or um or next weekend. Open this up. Yeah, they aggressively push crap. Hide stuff, actual channels you like, then pretend they don't. I know. I've even watched videos of it where they have the fucking audacity to say they don't do these things. And and to everyone who is on YouTube, they know it's total bullshit, that they're lying, and they don't um, promote other channels as much as others, you know. And, you know, like with the monetization thing, they claim that that's not true, that they set, they share non-monetized things as much as monetized, but we all know that's a lie as well. Because either I'm not going to start doing videos doubt I'll get very far wrong well, if I do make some videos would you check them out yeah I'll definitely check them out you may if I'm not subscribed to you you'll have to tell me you do once you've started doing videos tell me and then I'll subscribe you know what I mean but I want you know I'll watch your videos you, you know you can still get somewhere it's just it's harder it was it was a lot more fair in the old days you know I think it's well worth watching um no, it's well worth doing videos you can get somewhere. You have to really like try now that you have to make sure you do decent tags, decent descriptions, decent thumbnails, and then you'll still get somewhere, you know. You guys was I'm gonna. I thought you said not gonna, yeah. Natey, does anyone know air rifle that will shoot multiple calibers of pellets like two, two, one, seven, seven? I don't know any specific ones, but I think they do do one, then you change the barrels, can't they? Can't you? I've seen you don't usually watch streams, but yours are actually decent. Yeah, I watch. Um, I used to like my twin brothers. His was good because these are it's a good community in these. It's what I like about our streams, these streams like mine and Liam's, Malk's. Uh, it's a good community where we all we actually have a talk to each other. You know what I mean. And I enjoy doing these as well. You can uh, okay, thanks. Mate. Yeah, rack, rack a video on and then tell me, and I'll subscribe. Now, I'm, I might subscribe to you in a second anyway, but it's just if you start doing videos, it's you know what I mean. I'm Beeman did one that was 17722 screwing barrels. Amy Smith said, Thanks for answering my question. Got to Dara, see you next time. Yeah, see you later, mate. Yeah, object history, definitely. Um, I'd love to have a copy of your book. You, you know where to find my email, don't you? Just on the about page. But um, yeah, I'll do a video about it if that's all right. Don't mean. What time's it there? I don't know if you're East Coast or West Coast, but I know it would either be like five hours behind us or up to like seven, wouldn't it? So, six PM is it in America on the west coast, east coast? I know in Baltimore it's five hours behind us. I'm looking up there because my clock's up there. I'm working the time back. Half six, half five, <laughs> half six. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be on for about 10 more minutes. I know they'll all be going to bed then. I'll just add a shout out then. Maybe someone must have given us some points. <laughs> Harry Senior. Trying to watch a stream on bigger channels is a nightmare. Can't get a word in there. Uh, that's definitely true. Yeah, it's um, yeah, I I've I occasionally join scals, scalagrims, and yeah, you just um, you can't. It's you don't get the community feel for it because they can't answer you. Object history five twenty five. Oh, Texas. Yeah.
Norm says Wisconsin is six, California is eight, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Franklin said 625 on Georgia. Object history says it's 525 here in Texas. Yeah, it's 25 past 11 at night here. Yeah. I have an issue with my stream a bit. Can't do Q&A easily as the chat moves too fast and some people always ask the same questions over and over and over. Yeah, I've noticed yours can yours are just getting to the point if it get if it gets worse, yours would be hard to um answer a lot because I noticed that uh, even now, like you said, it's you can struggle with you you can't read every question on yours. It's just too much, isn't it? Um, yeah, I like joining yours though, Liam. They're good. Back striker, I'm off to bed. I'm cream crackered. I need a rest for the. Next week's big push into the uncharted thicket. Ah, oh, nice, yeah. I look forward to that, Jack. Yeah, good night, mate. Cheers for joining in. Lady Potatoes, yeah, I just watch Scouse streams passively because of the chat being barrage with pommel jokes. Yeah, that's the other thing. But, yeah, I, I try and get, like, I'll put a comment on every now and then, see if he can read it. But um, I think he did read one of mine the other day. I mean, you have to time it perfectly. You have to wait until he's ending something he's saying and try and just time it perfectly and sometimes he'll manage to um i asked him about is he any closer to getting his land he wants some land don't he he would do his channel is is brilliant anyway but he would you imagine if he had some land it would be great you know be even better channel i do like scale because i've known scale when he since when he had 200 subscribers you know what i mean and used to talk to him regularly you know I can't really now because he just would see your messages. Do you know what I mean? We well, might do if you added like a private um, email of his or something. But yeah. But obviously, when your channel gets that big, it's gonna be you're gonna have so many emails and all that. And you're gonna survive you off as well, mate. Good night, mate. Bonus of he's one of the history channels that doesn't talk bollocks. So I like him for that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. He's quite down to earth as well, isn't he? You know, I like scars. It's just, yeah, you don't get the interactive interactivity like you would in smaller channels. Because, like I said, I don't even I don't even comment on his videos anymore because you, he, there's so many comments he's not going to see it. So it's a bit pointless, really. I've seen this. <laughs> Scar should end his streams right, but yeah, that one. Only potatoes. Yeah, lack of land is really holding him back. At least in his old videos, he had access to a garden. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's it's got a good channel, any, but it, it, that would be so great for him. Well, myself, I can never figure out his accent now. I know he lives in Canada. Yeah, he um, I remember when he moved to Canada. Uh, I can't remember where specifically he came from, like the Netherlands or somewhere like that. But it was the move when he moved to Canada. His um. His channel went mental. Yeah, he's from Germany, but he's not German, though, is he? I don't think. Or is he German and he lived in... But he he lived in Europe originally when his channel first started. You know what I mean? You know, not Europe, but, you know... I can't remember specifically. But, yeah, he did live... Over, you know, over this sort of way originally. But, no, he, he did come from, like... Sweden or somewhere like that, or maybe yeah, you know, lived in Sweden. I'm sure he lived in Sweden at one point. But when he moved to Canada, his, his channel went absolutely mad. Weapons of uh, no, I miss Scal's old stuff. Same with Lindy Bay. Yeah, yeah. It's the only thing is, you know, it's good, but it you you don't get the interactivity like you used to. You know what I mean anymore. But good for them, you know what I mean? Well, I like seeing Liam's channel growing. Yours is growing good now, isn't it? Where am I? Dead not the German originally, JT. I think he's French Canadian, I think he's dead not the I think he moved to Sweden, I think. Um I'm sorry. that's how PewDiePie became so popular. Moved around a lot and it helps on the algorithm apparently. Yeah. But I what I wanted to try and do my American mate, I wanted to try and get him to, may still try it one day, get him to uh, 
give him my YouTube account details, get him to upload a video in Baltimore for me. You know what I mean? On my Weapon Vector channel, you know, and that would come out as a video being uploaded in America. I've never asked him yet. He probably would do it. I mean, yeah, it'd be worth doing. Getting getting someone you know in America to uh, upload a video for you. Yeah, that's what happened with um, Scar when he moved to Canada. His channel went absolutely mad. Good for him, though. I bet if you looked on some of his early videos, go on Scar's channel and look at his really old videos, and you'd um, it, it, he might say in some of them, where he, where he is, you know. I've seen he's of the holy algorithm. Yeah, there's that one. The fucking, uh, no, it's like the satanic algorithm, isn't it? Yeah, I'll stay on for about five more minutes. When this Eurovision finishes, I'll go off. So if, if it stays on late, I'll be on later. I am going to have to have a slash, though. Back in a sec. So I noticed my flies was undone then when I got up, but you probably wouldn't have seen it anyway, would you? <laughs> oh, Lady Protects, yeah, basically bypasses the region lock. Uh, what was that? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, it, it's had a weird burst at the moment. I have a weird theory that watching a lot of videos seems to help you to promote your channel as well. I, mean, I must have missed some bloody thing. I'm reading about the Holy Algorithm a bit. Maybe, but he never mentioned where he was born, but it was Scandinavian country. That's why he can speak Norwegian. Yeah. You know I mean? He said he was born in Germany, but didn't like it, so he left. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's a, he's like officially German, but, you know, or he's German. You know what I mean? I don't think he's a blowpipe's home office on the Holy Algorithm. Amen. <laughs> Object history, the dark art of YouTube algorithm. Never thought about it. Yeah. Quite interesting thing when you look into it. You know. Um, yeah. I know it does my bloody channel over now. I used to at one point years ago. I know I've changed my content slightly though. But I used to be able to put a video on. That day it would get 500 views. Within a week it would have 2,000 views. I can put a video on now, it can get 200 views, and then it's like it's dead. So, it's a pity. So maybe might try watching, listening to loads of podcasts while multitasking and see if it gets more views. I'll try it. I'll tell you what definitely makes a difference, I think, are these streams. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it does, because of the amount of, since I've been doing these streams, my watch minutes are up. Like, I think at one point, when I first started doing these live streams, my watch minutes was up by a thousand percent. Because of the amount, you know, because this counts as one video getting 74 hours worth of of views, you know, minutes. Yeah, this video it says total view time in hours, 74 hours. So that counts down. But, you know, I'll do that. Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, it's not, it's not a... Um, Difficult thing to do, so I'll try that. I've never seen your German weapon sound. I know, I know. And stuff. Yeah, streams had loads of comments and watch time to your channel. Yeah, comments as yeah, comments as well. I think that was the, I think it may have been comments that was up like a thousand percent. Okay, so if your channel deserves more subs and views. Cheers, mate. Well, I've had a couple of people say that. Thing is, in the old days, our channels would have had more, but this algorithm they did, it's 
it rewards the more popular channels and the lower ones it doesn't really you know what i mean and it makes it very difficult it means it means you can you know the more popular you are the more you'll get shared so how does it doesn't really work you know what i mean it's when like, yeah when i play mount and play another stuff i often listen to podcasts i'll, I'll try that because you you know i could just whack it on and not not do anything anyway just have it on while i'm playing the computer game Many players, it really does need more subs. I only managed to find this channel thanks to your video on the UK knife law changes. Oh, nice. Yeah, that one was very popular. 37,000 views. And that got like 35,000 then views in like two weeks or something. <clears throat> Could always make top tens. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. But I know they are popular, aren't they? The knife law ones, like Lady Potato said, they are. They're popular. Um, that is doing them, you know. I, I don't really enjoy doing them because the subject matter is so annoying. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So close to my heart, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, you know, like, I'll keep at it anyway. I'm, you know, I'll always keep at it. And every now and then you find something good that seems to get a lot of views or shares. You know. Any a lot of the self defense stuff does as well. The the self defense items ones seem to get a lot of views. And my old crossbow making ones do. They're my most popular videos. But when I put them on now, they're not as popular. It just seems like there's old ones where if I put a new one on of that, it gets nowhere really. Yeah, I'll I'll stay on until. I either hear someone go to bed or the Your Reason Time contest ends. That's, that must be why they're still awake. So I'll stay on for a bit. Said it was supposed to end. Well, it may be ending now, actually. No, it's going to go to quarter to 12. So. You can either. Like weapons and stuff, he did one about scary gas masks, got many views. Yeah. I know Liam said he don't really like I'm doing top 10s, but. You know, they're always worth doing them every now and then. I wouldn't want to do them all the time. Though. By the way, if anyone ever asks something and I miss your comment, it's not deliberate. Sometimes I just accidentally miss them. So I don't think I have this time. But if, I, if you ever ask something and I don't answer it, just ask it again. Tom said, crossbows are brilliant, don't give up with them. No, I'll, I'll definitely carry on them. Must be videos. Myself, I find them annoying to edit and people accuse you of making clickbait. Yeah. Tell you that, uh, my Patreon sports managed to fund me to get, um, let me tell you what it's called. Uh, Wonder Share Filmora. I absolutely love it for an editor. <clears throat> yeah, if any of you ever wanted to support me, there is a Patreon, but, it, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but now and again, they are fun to make. Maybe I'll do a top 10 lighter video. Yeah, that'd be good. But I know I know that people used to love your lighter videos, didn't they? Bandy Potatoes, that weapon and stuff, that stupid scene as you're one of the least clickbaity channels on top of Yeah, Liam don't do clickbaity stuff at all. Someone's shouting downstairs about who's won the fucking fishing tongue content. <laughs> right, I'm just going to put a couple of these mines away. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like I'll be on for about five more minutes then, because they, they sing this last song, don't they? They sing the winning song, then they end it, so... I'll be off in five minutes about. I like doing these strings, but I always have a load of stuff to clear up at the end. Put these gloves back. Put these that place of physics back. Put that bag back. Weapon stuff had some people get annoyed at my parody videos. Despite I thought the gas mask one was funny myself. Yeah, bayonet filter, yeah. I know. People can be very bizarre about 
what they what they want you to do and what they don't. You know, Richard Smith. I've seen the price of Barnet Commando crossbow recently. They all up with the four hundred pound used. Yeah. Well, my Barnet Commando two compound crossbow. I think at one point that was selling used to seven hundred quid. Dainty. Does anyone know where I can get a decent flight jacket on the cheap? No, I'm not sure because I wouldn't mind a new jacket. But very soon your home office wants to know your location. <laughs> They're not getting it from me. They probably know it anyway. Other than stuff. Also, I do at least nine videos a week. If you don't like a particular vid, don't worry, eight more will be on in a week. Yeah, no, it's just I can't understand the fearful mentality for these the weird moaning about things. And you know, like you said, you know, you upload regularly, you upload so regularly, it's every day at a certain time as well. You know, unlike me, I, I upload randomly. You know, I try to do every day if I can, I try to do at least three or four a week, but I don't ever have a set time. Off, I'd say check eBay, lots of fashion and department stores on there. Tell you what, I'm going to call it a night now. You know, I can hear people going out of bed. They're not going to. They're obviously not watching this song, but I could hear that they're pissed off anyway. So, all right, that'll be it now. Uh, if I if the camera works with the laptop, I may have a um, I may do a shed live stream. I did think there may be another way. If that, it's not the end of it. If I can't, um, if the Vista computer don't work, I've got another computer that the, another laptop that I need to buy a wire for that I may be able to do it. Booms off, great stream as usual. I'll send you a message on Twitter about the MTP chats. Oh, yeah, thanks, Liam. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what was I saying? I was trapped there. Yeah, I may be able to still do the um shed thing, even if that laptop doesn't work. Uh we'll see. But yeah, I'll be streaming usual Friday and Saturday. I may I may go out next Friday, so I may not be streaming Friday, but if I don't, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll do I'll try and do Saturday and Sunday instead or something. All right, so see you later, Harry, Liam. Dead Not Z, UK Survivor, Jumble Cell Blue, Lady Potatoes, Paul Franklin, Simon, and anyone else, son, if I miss your names. Object History, see you later, mate. JT, see you later. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back to normal videos in the week and then possibly a shared live stream. Uh, see you later, Brian. Um, and yeah, just the normal streams. If I go out Friday, I'll definitely do Saturdays. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, if I go out Friday night, I'll do a Friday day stream then. Pete says, still on, okay, see you later. Yeah, um, that's it, mate. I was just, I was waiting for everyone to go to bed and they was that late, so, yeah. Good night, all. Thanks for joining in. You make it a very enjoyable thing to do. See you later.